I am going to quickly yeah. pop to the loo once I get connected in. You what, yeah. mate? You what? You what, mate? You Go on fourth pace, love. You can't park there. Oh, you can park, your, oh, so you can park your ass here. <laughs> the initiative is uh, full. Eh, a little liquor in the front, parking in the rear. <laughs> I'll be back in a second. Base. I, I don't even think asking nicely would get me that though. Now see, you got You got to distract, and then you just slack, and then you just park in there. Or they're yeah, distracted. that sounds like a way to die. <laughs> but what a way to die? Am I right, folks? Exploring the unknown. I, ex I have explored there before. And... <laughs> it's not what it cracks up to be. <laughs> For what it's worth, I have as well, and it put me in hospital. <laughs> okay, dokie. Um, so we're we're doing a little bit of time shenaniganery here, um, because this this content was not actually meant to be available to you until you reached the next settlement. Um, but uh, given the actual session isn't going to happen until like fucking August. Um, we're we're gonna just time shenaniganery. So in lore, this is happening in the future, but it's also fair to say that s side quest style content like this, like this shit, could, this shit could be described as anywhere between just off days, downtime, or parallel universes. It is that insignificant in the grand scheme of like lore. But you might pick up a couple of little things along the way just because you are interacting with the world like in general. But in the grand scheme of things, it's not, like, meant to be anything heavy. So, you can play our knowledge that you're actually in the future right now, but you've yet to actually get there as characters, yeah? I understand. Okay, okay. Uh... Oh, thank you. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to give you a list of options of what to do for today uh it is then up to you as if you want to do any rp stuff unfortunately i can take you back to the starting town mm -hmm. and shove you in the tavern if you want if you want to do if you want to interact in any way let me know uh you know what in fact i'm just gonna do that that's just the smart thing to do <laughs> yes because i i would maybe like some potions didn't we clean uh, the merchant of all of our potions yeah, well, this, you're... Is, this is in the future, so... Yes. Yeah, there's, none of that's happening, don't worry. F future vast need not apply for more potions. <laughs> I, I used all three of mine, okay? Wait, you got three, I only got two. Well, yeah, I, I also got potions. <laughs> he just yeah, went, they're... bitch, I'm melee, I'm taking the third. <laughs> well, uh, well, we yes. dished it to them. <laughs> right. Uh, so you should only be able to see yourselves and all the NPCs, right? Uh-huh. There's not any other shenaniganery on the map right now? I do not see any. No. Not that I can tell. No. Oh, good, okay. Right. So this is only if you guys want to do any form of interaction. Um, I'll give you a list of what you can do. Um, all, f all of them are prepared, so you quite genuinely get to choose what they are. But the idea is when you go to the next settlement... It's going to open up. Basically, in the tavern, there's basically a, a bounty board. Uh, I know Catafracious is going to love shit like that because he likes his work on the side. Um, so, for today, there are... These These aren't a case of they don't all need to be done. They don't need to be done in particular orders. There's not, there's not time commitments or anything on it. It's literally, these are your options. And if other people want to do other small groups, I'll just, I'll just keep creating more content for people to play with and the actual the actual pl places like i'll reference where you are and things like that but this level of shit can basically be put anywhere in the world and 99 percent of it will make sense for where you are so don't ever worry about like missing out on stuff that you're going to get used as individual players are going to get rewards and the three players that aren't here aren't going to get any of that unless you decide to share it but that is between, that's between you and them, right? This is just, we want to turn up, we want to play D&D, &D, and I feel as if, if you're going to be putting in the effort, and I'm going to be having a good time because of that, that you deserve to get something 
in compensation for that. Plus, it may, it may, it may, it, what the rewards are may sway your decision on where you want to go or what you want to do. Mm -hmm. uh, but just have fun with it, okay? Confirmed. Everybody is long. Make Scott cry. Got uh, you can't do that. You see the fights I can throw at you. Oh, if, see if I wanted to make people cry. Um, Maddox. Uh -huh. You can't. Maria starts calling to you and goes, Ah, yes, I've seen this one before. I think they call it Lights Rampant. Oh, God. Okay, I'll, so uh, y'all aren't y'all aren't in control here. I believe was, me. I was getting ready for a con save. Uh -huh. No, uh, you don't need to worry. Bitch. You don't need to worry about any of that just now. Okay. Uh, we are this say you won't generally be asked for that inside curse content unless the side quest specifically puts you in that situation. Uh huh. Like that's it. But these ones are not. Okay. So. If you want, if you're gonna keep turning up to them, which would be pretty based anyway, I'd, I'd like everybody to be turning up. But at the same time, like, because there's there's one or two scenarios: either all of my players are available, or one player is missing and I can get away with it, and I run an actual session. The moment it becomes like, like, see, when I start losing like two or three players, like we are right now, it's like I'm not going to be running sessions. On, um, so what I can do is you can do this kind. So, if everyone's ready to go, you're all long rested, everybody's got their resources and gear, uh, you are all still level 3, everything that you have right now in your sheets should be accurate, yeah? Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. I need to change that box to get all my Leon's hands back. And, okay. okay. It is worth noting as well, resources that you use, like one-time resources that you use on side quests are consumed. So if you go out if you go out here and you consume healing potions, you, you they will be consumed like Question. when you actually sessions. go back in the main sessions, yes. Yeah. If you're running side quests in between main missions, you're gonna lose stuff that you have for the one fight on the other fight then? What do you mean? No, this one's in, in so, the future. So the fight we've just had to happen and now we're like a three or two two sessions in the future or something like that. Yes, but if you say we're having a fight in the main session and somebody can't show up and then you do a side quest and you lose a potion that you needed in the main session to make the side session work. You Rip. chose to you chose to drink it. Yeah. That's like, what I'm wanting to confirm for yeah, everyone. Your here, so your inventory everyone's... is still a limited resource. The idea would be that you shouldn't be consuming a ton of resource on side quests. But also the side quest should reward you in a way that you at worst go even. Gotcha. Does that make sense? Would you, you be able would... to pre-shop after a side quest to like refill the potion that you needed for the main quest? Or um so there's there's so there's two situations here. First of all, if you were actually at this point in the main sessions there perhaps would be shops available to you that you could spend five minutes at the start of the session going, I want to quickly grab something, right? That isn't available to you here because you physically aren't there, and that's future content. But these side quests are not particularly difficult and shouldn't drain your resources anyway. Okay, I the, just wanted to confirm. Um, because the opposite is true as well. Rewards that you gain from side quests now come into your main so anything that you gain from today, you can technically use between your next session starting and you actually getting to this part where it makes sense in the timeline. Ah, we, lo we, we love pocket dimensions. Yes. Well, I'm not like if you get something here and you turn up to the next session and you haven't been here to do the side quest yet, I'm not going to say, oh, just exclude that from your inventory. That shit's cringe. I can't be asked keeping track of it. F FF13 to logic. Uh, perhaps, perchance, sure. You're, you're, you, it's, it's a, it's a, it's an RPG. Who cares? Yeah. Uh, so Change. if everybody's ready to get started. Can, uh, can I just, can... I, yeah. I do one thing. I do want to go. I do want to go to the blacksmith. I, I want to do like one thing. I want to sell my mall and pick up, pick up two other weapons. If you will let me. Can he do that, boss?
what what are you looking for? Because War, Warhammer and like a Morning Star. Let me look at them because he's not like he's not a weaponry blacksmith. He's like <laughs> he's a. I mean, they're they're, they're 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 martial weapons. I, you you can say yes or no. We might have to wait until we get to another town. It's up to you. This the blacksmith in this town was not intended to be an armor and weapon shop. Okay. I can tell you that right now. But co the consequence of that is that the town that you are in for these side quests would have one of those. So for now, I'm gonna say just keep yourself as is. Okay. Um. But I you, learned, know, I you want, now have knowledge uh, that the yeah. next town is going to give you that availability. Yes, I, because... I want damage variety now at this point. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Right. So he's less of a blacksmith and more of a farrier. Fair enough. Yes. Yeah, you, you know he, you know he creates metal work. You know, what I mean, he might he might make um he might he make railways, fences, horseshoes, yeah. things like that. Like you, he could special <clears throat> order you something, but you are not sticking around here long enough to ever receive it. Okay, that's fine. How, how okay. powerful of a weapon is a pan? Uh, it depends. Uh, is it in the hand of Princess Peach? <laughs> that would be an improvised weapon, so 1d4. Hmm. Okay. Damn. Or are, or are you Samwise Gamgee? Based. Ooh. Uh, anyway, so. You're in a tavern, as you can hear. There is a... Bulletin bounty board style thing. Uh, I'm gonna give you what is up on it for today. So uh, once I've read them out, I will um, put them in. Um, I'll put them in the Arcadia chat so you can reference them or read them just in case you miss something that I've heard that I've said. Okay. 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 So first up, <clears throat> the goblins in the area have, been, have kept to themselves for years, usually fleeing on sight. However, they've recently been wandering closer to town. First it was one or two, then in small groups. We thought nothing of it until they started attacking residents and looting homes. Chase them out of the area by any method you deem fit. We cannot accurately account for all that has been stolen, so you are, you are free to keep whatever you come across in the process. We just want them gone. Second? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. A recent shipment of medical supplies needs to make its way south to a neighbouring town. The wagon is specially designed and easy to tell apart from a normal one, as such has become a common target for thieves and highwaymen. Escort the wagon and return with a certificate of delivery to claim your reward. And lastly? What's the reward? Uh, you'll get that in the text form. Okay. Lastly? Local wizards has was found beaten half to death after an encounter in the hills northeast of town. His statement mentioned running into a pair of ogres who turned aggressive after negotiations to let him leave peacefully broke down. He reports that when he attempted to use magic to subdue the creatures and escape, that his spell was countered. He claims that all he is missing is his coin pouch, and which he is adamant to get back. As such, he has placed a bounty on the ogres in question. I'm going uh, to. They have counter spell and ogres. <laughs> That's Magic not good for me. Ogres. All right, I've clear. posted. I've posted all of them, including the rewards, in the uh... Arcadia channel. Is it actually two ogres, or is it <clears throat> one ogre with two heads? Both are equal. Uh, I can I can let you know that a pair of ogres does literally mean two individual creatures. I, I was just asking if you weren't going to do some World of Warcraft shit like Cho'Gal. Or Bro, Cho when I was looking for artwork, that shit was all over the place, though. <laughs> like, I love that shit. Just two-headed ogre mages, bro. It was so hard to find something that wasn't just Cho'Gal. So I'll give you a wee minute to read through that if you want. Right. Are these, uh, rewards, are these rewards negotiable? No. Hmm, that's annoying. So, let's see, we've got goblins, so pack tactics. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I am the anti-pack anti man, so... <laughs> Alright, so we've got a good shot with that one. You're also, Met I believe you're, I'm gonna, I'm gonna meta you on that one. I think you're thinking of kobolds. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure kobolds are the pack <laughs> tactics. Goblins don't have that. But that, I'm glad that you know that info, though. That was like, hello. But yeah, that, I believe that's cool, what you're thinking of. 
Ooh, it should be noted maybe... as well that the rewards are not per person. That is the reward. Yeah, so mm. that has to be split between all of us. Yes, because the um, basically what hap the, the basically what happens is is the for you to put a bounty, for you to put something up in the bounty board, essentially, you the tavern themselves will take a commission that has already been taken off of this. So you will receive this amount of money. It's not commissioned afterwards, and that and those are mo most of all of that is held within the tavern itself under locking. Mm -hmm. so, so you might never actually meet the clients. Sometimes you do. Sometimes you don't. So nego like tavern innkeeper is not interested in bar in uh, negotiations. You either take it or you don't. The Wizard's Nightmare has some good rewards, but my god, that counter spell is going to be a bitch to deal mm -hmm. with as a warlock. Yeah. It is also worth mentioning that you picking one today doesn't mean the others go away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you, whatever <clears throat> one you pick today, a different set of a different group of players might go for the other ones. Because mm -hmm. so... those those arcane recoveries are really good for um, mm -hmm. non warlock spellcasters. I mean, nothing's. If, if that's the one you choose to go for, absolutely go for it. Yeah. Uh, I'm. I'm. I'm goblin or or medical personally. Yeah. For, I'm... for one. For one. Mm -hmm. mis mystery reward. You know, could be good, could be bad, but you know, it's Ooh. it's one of the things. Um, yeah. I just. I think this group in per in particular is is kind of more set towards the first two rather than the third as it is mm. right now. Yeah. We're yeah, gonna need a cause... lot more melee intervention on that one. So for the for myself, Dread Ambush or Medical Escort ain't gonna do shit unless I'm deliberately hiding away from you guys escorting it, which isn't a good thing because then I would be by myself and I could fuck up a, a stealth roll. So No, you you can be you can be hiding inside or on top of the car I was on gonna, top of the carriage. I was gonna say you could be inside Ooh. the carriage. Uh, I can let you know that if you're inside the carriage, it, you will be completely blind to the outside. Mm -hmm. It is a specially designed carriage that is using magic to keep it basically refrigerated. So as much as you could actually survive in there perfectly fine as a lizard man, you would not see the outside. Mm -hmm. It is worth hear. noting, I believe Dread Ambusher doesn't actually require you to be sneaking. It just requires you to be first in, like, to beat them in initiative, I believe. Uh -huh. Which you're... Yeah. Fucking amazing act, because <laughs> Ranger. Yeah. So and... yes, you you can just oh, be sitting on top of the caravan, I mm -hmm. think, and that that, and sh that I, should be I fine. could be joining you as well, since I'm also mm -hmm. rangey boy. Okay, I'm 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 feeling the medical escort now with that, but it is four potions of healing. For the goblin, yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, I still have two on me that I haven't used. Uh, let me just double check. Same. So the fact that Double he has a uh, creature that drinks this vial of liquid gains advantage on saving throws against poison for one hour. Uh... Well, I'm immune to poison, so. I'm or not. is it disease? Or it is it might disease? Be disease? You're immune to disease. And yeah. I'm going to tell you right now, there's not a lot of diseases in the game either. It's a shame. But your lay on hands actually allows you to remove poison, which sure. is very useful. Yo, I can give you some diseases from Darkest Dungeon too. I've Those ones are actually quite fun. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, cancel 2.0, oh, sit down. <laughs> nah, Darkest Dungeon 1, give me that rabies. <laughs> Conversation is going places. <laughs> <laughs> right, so as a... I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to try and influence your choices whatsoever. Mm -hmm. The information that you have here is as it is. You then get to decide. The goblin one is very, very straightforward. The medical escort one could have issues, and I think mm -hmm. we're kind of shying away from the ogres. Yep. Yeah. Also, the goblin one, it's not just the 400 gold and 4 healing potions. It's Whatever also the... else we find. Yeah, there could be other loot in there as well. Well, the same could be said, because we're going against thieves and highwaymen. They also have they also have stuff. Yeah, but they, they probably they... won't be carrying that much many valuable things with them while they're mm -hmm. going on a raid. That's true. And I don't have that much backpack space to carry anything personally. Yes, neither do I. Um 
and the other issue with that is, is that we would have to finish escorting it and then try and track down wherever they came from, which might be extremely difficult and not worth it in the end. So, Well, we don't have to track them down, but we could if we wanted better loot, yes. If we, I if we want... can... I'm going to interject here. There is not a... This, this quest would essentially be you getting to that town and back within the... Yeah. You would not have time for mm. detours. Oh, how about... So... However, you have given me a great follow-up quest to design now. <laughs> mm -hmm. So thank you. So basically, it sounds like I need to empty my cart's wares and we need to take them on a hunt. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Hmm. Goblins? Because hmm, you never know what else we could get. Goblin sounds the simplest, honestly. And as this is the first kind of one of these sessions, I feel like it'll be a good idea just to get a good feel. For what it's like to have the smaller party. Mm -hmm. As long as you don't go up against any do. main goblins, you're fine. Doesn't matter to me. All right, you've been very quiet, sir. What? Mm -hmm. he, Talk he us said, through. He says it, it doesn't matter to him. That, that's that's what he said. So we'll we'll take that as as a um Ooh. as an abstain. I want medical ex escort be all that. That's two against one and I mean, an I'm... abstain. So we'll we'll do we'll do goblins. We'll we'll do goblins. <laughs> I mean, okay, I, so I both, but yeah, we'll we'll go for goblins. So we're we're taking the we're taking the road of rolling the dice to see what else is available. Then is that what I'm taking then? Uh, ah, goblins, yeah. please. Mm -hmm. Huh? Get those goblins. Goblin okay, that okay. ass. R only if you ask nicely. <laughs> Very nicely. <laughs> hey, yo, bitch! Let me get in them guts. Stop it. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to do some quick DM shenaniganery where I switch music and switch you over there. This is all very informal, blah, 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 uh, blah. Bloody nonsense. Uh, I also need to actually bring your characters with me. That would be an idea. Yeah, I keep forgetting to do that. Uh, yeah, every, every now and again, I forget. I appreciate you all sitting still so I can do shit. <laughs> oh, I've moved all of you. That's what we do. Uh, so I'm going to put you on a little corner here. Now, when you okay. say you've moved all of us, should the map have changed, or you're just putting our tokens on the map? No, yeah, I'm trying to work out if there's a universal... Ah, stop, clear all. Bow of the Black Archer. Hmm. Okie dokie, if I could get everybody to confirm that they are map transitioning we are transitioning yep. yes transitioning yes we are here no no scratch that i am not transitioning no i'm changing maps yes okay i've <laughs> shoved you all in this corner here feel free to position yourselves um but obviously the map is in play as you do so yep throw in the back so maddox here we go well okay so here here so go, going <laughs> Going back to what we've learned before, there could be stealth checks involved. So do we mm, want okay. the stealthiest first, followed by me to quickly get into the front if you fail your stealth check? I also have an Probably invisible fish. Yeah. <laughs> you also have an invisible fish. You know what? You know what? That is yes. a good point. Send in the invisible fish. <laughs> yeah. Invisible fish, what's beyond this corner? Oh, I would like Eon to be invisible, please. Absolutely. Um... Whoever gets to the state first, I guess. Uh, I'll do it. Condition. Uh, you're doing it, okay. Ta da. Hey. Okay. Uh, can I confirm that everybody has control of their characters? Yep. Yes. Okay, okay. Yep. Thank you. Okay. You would like to send the f invisible fish. The invisible fish. Oh, oh, just just to be clear with this mission, it is an extermination mission. Extermination. Like everything. Yeah. Okay. The, yeah. The it, it's gone. a chase away. The exact wording is chase them out of the area by any method you deem fit. Okay, I I, I, I choose extermination. Okay, Lore no. check. I bet you would. Lore <laughs> check in what regards? Uh, would we know if goblins are typically superstitious creatures? Like, are they known to believe in many, many mystical deities that can just... Appear. History check? History check? 
Scrolling, scrolling. My history is a zero. So, <clears throat> all right. Heavy D20, your first roll. 15. Off camera. It's also off camera, so let's fix that. Um, you, you would know that goblins like like other societies for different races some goblins just some goblins might follow worship some goblins might just work in warrior tribes the, goblin society can range from haha dumb banditry to actual civilized communities so mm. there's there's not a, there's not a universal to that right no shenanigans yet unless we witness anything that uh, mm -hmm. okay so, so yeah you go first are goblins in this game small things or are they like human sized or uh they come in all shapes and sizes okay some I guess some we'll are out. some are small some are big some might be actually some might be large uh also there's some some people might you know get there's also you know crossbreeding as well like you might have like a halfling goblin that's tiny and you might have like an ogre goblin that's huge and they may actually look very similar but be five foot of a difference apart so i wonder who the mother would be in that instance of a ogre generally mom. the big generally the size like the size that you are is probably the mother yes like it may, may, you can't have you can't have a tiny a tiny woman having a giant baby it's not how it well, works well, damn. We're, we're going dragons. We're sorry, we're going uh, goblin slayer up in this bitch. I say, well, damn, I think that goblin died from snoo snoo then. <laughs> my god. Uh, so, with, 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 so, with my background as mercenary veteran, I would also have basically the exact same knowledge as though no, nothing else would give me. If anything, you would have a better knowledge of it, but yes, yeah, the same information. Same information. No, no real yeah. general tactics. It's just dependent like, on you. The tribe you whatever. saying that would have actually just got you the information for free, like unironically, because you yeah. actually have a background in dealing with a lot of races and cultures, both peacefully and aggressively. So you've probably fought a few goblins in your days, and you probably, you know, you've you've probably fought against dumb shit goblins, and you've probably taken work from like civilized goblins yeah but he got to it first so there's nothing i can do that really. that's fine that's fine but this is what i mean about bringing your characters in Fo uh -huh. has Fo's actually had quite a had quite a sheltered life so far so he still would be getting used to the world whereas you have purposely built your character as somebody who has been exploring for a long time so it's good to get it's good to get both uh are we back around to eon or uh, i guess so Nobody else yeah, yeah. As, as, as worth noting, just because yeah. just because you're like, I am more than happy to let this tactic be a thing, but in each individual case that you do it, there's going to be a certain range of like I'm gonna have a set max range, mm -hmm. and on right. one map that might be thirty feet, and one map that might be two hundred feet. It's, as in I'm how gonna... far he can go out or how far he can see. But but though e Eon can essentially like he can he can wander off. Like for quite far, but mm -hmm. the inf him being able to give that information to you, like in the moment, mm -hmm. is going to be limit is going to be very limited. And if you're sending him so far out that he needs to come back with the information, he's probably a lot more at risk. And there's also going to be such a time factor in it that that's probably not a good idea in ninety nine percent of situations. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. what I will say is, you can see the map. This, I will say he can go as far as this front section. Anything beyond that, he will he will he will just start tuning out to you. Okay. Okay. But feel free, wander in. Okay. So Eon is at the gate. Maddie is tuned into him, watching. Okay, uh, okay. Can I see anything at this initial entrance? You absolutely can. You see four goblins sitting around the campfire. Having a bit of a laugh and a giggle to themselves. Okay. Uh, if Eon goes ten feet directly in the air and just takes a kind of overview, does he see anything else, like hiding behind any boxes or up on the, these cliffs? Uh, he cannot see anyone. He sees these four. He sees these four creatures, and that's it. 
There's um, nobody. He doesn't see anybody up here. He doesn't see anybody up here. Um, he probably he probably wouldn't see back here, but I can tell you there's yeah. like save you the time. Uh, How high up I, is yeah, he? Was, uh, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say, can Tho climb this? Mm -hmm. It's a. Uh, you will. You will. I will turn your attention to the ladder here. Yep. This and... is. This is. This is about twenty foot up. Like this up here is give or take about twenty foot higher than the ground. Tho could climb that. Yes, you should oh. definitely get up there for a sniper's position. Yes. Yes. Uh, are we okay for me to begin that right now, or do people want to get in position in case of bad roll? Um, all Mad is going to do is he's going to tune out of Eon. Going to look to the team and he'll just hold up four fingers. <laughs> he doesn't trust how, how good their hearing is, because he has no idea what these things are. They're having a bit of a party to themselves, so... <laughs> unless, unless you're being overly noisy, they probably won't hear you. Yeah. Um, All right. Yeah, I would. I would say. Hang on. Let me get that. Okay. Yeah. I. Though, if if you want mm -hmm. to, I would. I would say go ahead, mm -hmm. get into stealth and and get up there. Yeah. Yep. Right. Are you trying to claim this mm -hmm. specific rock face? Climb, I want to climb this rock face and get up to the top. Okay. Right. So you see the way in this rock face is actually angled that you're actually like becoming like. This bit, mm -hmm. okay, but then you'd be going under this bit and having to climb up and around. So I, I'm going to ask you for an, an uh, athletics, if you choose yep. to go that route. Yep, oh, that, that's probably the safer than going... Do, 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 do. Well, you also, can, you also can get in there. <laughs> there is a bit of a fence yep. in the way. Mm -hmm. All right. The alternative do, 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 do. is waiting until you get into the camp and using the ladders. Yeah, but there's a torch there, so that would be quite difficult to sneak by. Right. I mean, if you, ben, if you don't try. Let's go. Good roll, please. That is a 9 with plus 1, so that's a 10. That's a 10? Mm-hmm. Where's my DCs? Have you tried looking up your bum? Sure, bring it over. Squee. Your bum is his bum. Yes. I will... S okay, I'll meet you halfway with this one. You can do it, but it's going to take you like half a minute. Like, you're having a bit of a... You're having a bit of a slip and slide on your way up. Mm. A wee bit of a... <laughs> Moment. Uh, how high yeah, is this? Uh, it's about 10 feet. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if I start to make quite a bit of noise, they are definitely going to see me as I'm cresting this lip. It's, yeah, it's it's tall enough to stop, like, a ho to stop, like, horse stuff. Mm -hmm. Right. This, this is my home for a while, guys. Uh, best will, of luck. What I will say is that as soon as you get to the top, I will look for a stealth for, roll from you. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Because you are, you are exposed and out in the open, and there yep. is two goblins facing your general direction. Yep. I'll do that. Right, so there's a minute for you guys to do what you need to do while I claim. <laughs> Uh, let's let's get let's get Eon in there a little bit more as as far as we can to see what else you can see. Yeah, I'm gonna keep him just away from them, just just in case. I know he's invisible, but okay. When you get in front of the tent, it is closed, like the not oh, the the flaps closed. Uh, can yeah, he the flap... hear anything? Uh, from from where he currently is, no, there's too much. If you would like to get him closer, okay, he sees nothing there. <laughs> Um, give me perception using Eon. Uh, Eon wouldn't have any stats for this, as I recall, because it's a wisdom. Uh, 12. He doesn't hear anything in the tent, cause, like, but also, there's a bit of a party going on, so it's, it's quite rowdy. Yeah. 
but specifically in the tent, if he really focused hard, he can't particularly hear anything. But it's hard to tell if that's because there's nothing in there or because the noise of the noisy goblins is just that much. Yeah. Uh, do you want me to swing by in this area, guys? I I can save you. I can save you the time. Um, and say that there's nothing behind there. But if you want to try the same perception roll on that tent, yeah, then sure. The DC is going to be significantly higher though, because you are in closer proximity to the noise, the ongoings. Yes. Yeah. All right. I uh, I can try again. Okay. Okay. It's going to be a difficult one. Uh, that was less ten. <laughs> ten. No, the the part the, the there's too much noise. He cannot tell. That's fine. Oh, by this point, you'd be up. Give me your stealth. Oh, well, I'll double click so I can get that right. Do, 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 do. So I got plus eight. So... Of course you do. Yep. <laughs> of course he does. So that's a 19 with plus eight. So, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're still, you're off camera. Still. Thank you. Yeah. Thank 19. You. you are. You don't exist. You have you stepped don't... into a different campaign. <laughs> you, it is, it is, there's, it is, sh it is, like, kind of dark up here because the light is under you. You are practically invisible. Tho is the night. Does Tho see anyone up here? Uh, along the bridge, along the, uh, along the raised mm -hmm. works. No, you do yeah. not see anybody. Uh, your dark vision goes out how far? Uh, 40, I think. Let me just... Uh, I, I thought Dark Vision standard was like 60. I no, but he's, he's a Gloom Stalker. Oh. Uh, 60 with Umbral Sight. So 60 feet. 60 with? Okay. Uh, wait a minute. No, I'm... I think as a lizard folk, I'm 30 to begin with. So you should be... No, that, 90, no that, was the, that was the other type of lizard folk. Sorry. So I'm just 60 feet. Okay, sixty feet across. Yeah, you, you've, you don't see anybody else up here. Maybe right there. Nah, there's not. You between between you and the next set of ladders, you don't see anyone. Hmm. Well, actually, I don't see the top of those. Uh, thing over there. Top That's seventy. Yeah. Over there is seventy. Like so you I, could, I be able to like see. <laughs> you, you could see, you could see like the general edges of it, but like right in the back, like here and things, mm -hmm. you probably you yeah. can't. See. That's just yeah. that's just pitch black. We mm -hmm. no obvious shapes walking about. Okay. No. Those so in point. position. Uh, okay. How dark is it? Uh, it depends on where you're looking. If you're in the jet, like, obviously, it's bright here, it's bright here, it's bright here, it gets a bit dimmer in behind up here, it's kind of dim up top. Yeah. The section you're in is kind of dim just now. But obviously, as soon as you stand, as soon as you get to, like, here, there's just a, there's, yeah. like, where this angle is, it's obviously, it's kind of bright because the fire's right there. Yeah. So. Or the lantern or whatever. If I am up here, I can see these guys fine, but I'll struggle with anything down here. Uh, you would you would struggle even more because you don't have dark vision or yeah, anything. Yeah, that that's why I'm asking. I need to ask because I don't have dark vision. Yes, if you're if you plan to go up there, you would probably need to take a lot more care than Fo is. Fo has a wider um has a wider range, range of vision. Yeah. Okay, I will stay ground level in that case then. I mean, it's up to you. You just need to take it a bit more slowly. Yeah. I'll, I'll see how it goes. Okay, okay. Alright. If we're ready, I think I just want to charge in and breath weapon. Can I summon Stevie before combat to save a bonus action, Mizzo? Absolutely. Okay, so I would like Stevie. you to do that. Allow me to... <laughs> allow me to go get him. Okay. Uh, go uh, oh yeah, you yeah. know what? I, I'll go ahead... Since I, I, want to, I want to go ahead and basically initiate combat... So can I cast Shield of Faith as well on myself? Uh, out of combat? Sure. Uh, what's the time? How long does that last for? Is it 10 minutes? Yes. Okay, okay. You'll generally be okay. Uh, give me a sec to bring Stevie in. He could really be doing with a token update, if I'm being totally honest. 
you might struggle you might struggle to see him a little bit, but we will get that fixed for future. So uh, are we just going in with the damage? We don't wanna try any form of AoE crowd control or just Well, I was I was wondering what was happening given that you yeah. put yourself in this position. Yeah, it's like so. I can either do claymore arrows or I can just be one goblin's gonna take a lot of damage. I mean, if if you if you want to go first and take a shot, I mean, if you if you have explosive arrows or whatever or something where you can do an AOE, mm -hmm. that's that's fine. But I know if I charge if I charge in right now, I I should be able to get to them and breath weapon all of them. Yeah, it probably if... won't be a surprise attack or anything like that though, because they'll hear you shouting, or they'll or they'll, they'll see you. Because I believe goblins have dark vision as well. Yeah, I could hit all three fighters with a uh, Hail of Thorns. 1d10 for all three of them, and the one that gets hit with the arrow, which would be this poor bastard. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's that's fine. If, if, if you want to do that first, I can I can follow up. That's fine. And then come charging out from the from the darkness. Yes. Uh, Winfrock, can you confirm that you have control of Stevie? And you see his statistics. I do not have control of him. No, I have control of him. Okay. And no. when you hover over him, do you see his no. armor class, his speeds, anything like that? No. Okay, okay. Uh, but you see them for Eon, don't you, Maddox? Uh, yes, I do. I have his HP. I okay. also see them for Eon. I see them for all party members. So why is Stevie different? Is he down as a PC or an NPC? All right, let me change that. Now, do you see them? Uh, no. No. I see Stevie, but that's it. Here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> that's gonna that's gonna be a second Eon for us for a moment. Hold on. <laughs> nah. I have I have shit a fish. <laughs> oh, God, you need to treat your foot better. <laughs> hold on, hold on. All right, so this is now. Stevie. <clears throat> oh, his name's actually just Steve. Uh, I give me a sec, should be in bed. I mean, Madness is gonna give... catch me again. Give me a moment. Where's the bloody stuff? Oh, does that mean you're gonna need to run to the light? Uh, I will need light, yes. I do have the light cantrip to help me. Um, mm -hmm. but I do not have dark vision. I cannot see in the dark. Ah, uh, but does right. being in the dark make you very unsettled? Like, no, you know, Scott's so, going to start demanding no, so extra rolls. It's, it's literally a superstition. Well, the it's mm. to you and I, it's a superstition, but to him, it's like an actual condition where mm. the, his cult firmly believe that because the the moons have been battling the sun for supremacy of the sky, um, that there's a thing called moon madness, wherein all all bad things happen in the night. So if you like are outside with your head like unexposed, like exposed, I should say, you don't have anything covering it. Mm -hmm. uh, you are more prone to doing reckless behavior. You're more prone to doing violent behavior, um, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Case in point, with mm. Maddie, he decided, you know what, I don't, th this has got to be fake. I, th I've never felt anything weird. He went outside with his head exposed. A couple of hours later, he now had a patron called Maria. So he is now a firm believer of moon madness. <laughs> mm. So Scott's going to throw disadvantage rolls at us. Yay! <laughs> Not necessarily. It's just more thematic to him as a character, as uh, for Maddox as a character. So he like mm. he has got his head like firmly wrapped up just now, and the kind of like the blue material down his legs. Oh okay, yeah. Okay, is Stevie showing correctly now? You see his four HP. Yep. Yep. Oh good. Okay. Yep. Uh, I will f okay. He should be fixed for now. You have his game statistics though. Um, anyway, so you know exactly what he can do and you need to now keep track of his resources, okay? Yep. So, uh, I will ask once more, what is the plan? I would like to cast Hail of Thorns. Okay. Yes, on myself. Nugget, okay. 
And if everybody is in position... Uh, I will be firmly behind these guys. <laughs> right. Do you do not have control of Stevie now. I will fix that. I probably I bet have who, control I've, of it. Yeah. You probably do have control of them. Uh, think, 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 think. Theft. Good. Oh, good, okay. Uh, I'm going to preemptively... Is Eon staying there? Uh, Eon, he's going to float. He's, he's still 10 feet in the air, so I'm going to move him up to 15 feet and I'm going to keep him here, kind of out of the way. Okay, I'm going to preemptively snap you all to grid just to see how much that fucks with things. Uh-huh. If you uh, would like to take the time to fix yourselves. I'm in a nice position. Right. Yeah. I guess there's no downside to me also shape-shifting before combat. If you're happy to do so? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Jeff probably brought you with us. Just don't <laughs> roar whenever you <laughs> take the bear form. <laughs> Fight Wrong. that overwhelming air urge that everybody who shapeshifts has. <laughs> I think there's two of me now. Right, please, please feel free to sort yourself. Yep. Right, I'm going to engage the motherfucker right here with the with an attack. With okay, my... okay. If you would uh, like to run by everybody, um, exactly what's happening on your turn then? Yep. So I've cast Hail of Thorns on my quiver. So for the next ten turns, because it's a minute. Uh, my arrows, when they hit the target, or hit wherever, they will explode, and everybody in that range of five feet needs to make a dex saving throw. If you succeed, you have to take half a 1d10. If you fail, you take the full 1d10's worth of damage. Uh, I'm also so going to jump in here and make you aware that this is not for, like the minute is just the concentration time. This only affects the first time that you hit. Mm -hmm. It's not um, it's not a minute long buff for every attack. I don't. It's like the, I only have like this for a minute, so you know six <laughs> seconds is a turn is a turn, so ten turns. No, no, no. The first time you hit a creature, the spell activates, and that's it. It only it only affects one the once you have used it once the it it goes away. Oh, so only it's going to affect one of my arrows. Yes. Yes. The next read the text. The next Fair time enough. you hit a creature with a ranged weapon before the spell ends. So that's it. On the first time that you hit a creature, the spell activates and then it's gone. Fair enough. Well, that's a very good opener then. Hazard, quick. right? Yeah. I don't have Winthrop control now. <laughs> <laughs> we have a problem. <laughs> the bear has lost control. All right. And uh, depending on, you know, initiative and shit like that, I can only, Thanks. I can hit the Good. three fighters. I can't hit all four because it's a 15 foot cone. I'm always missing at least one of them. Mm. So. That's fine. Right. You, uh, I will worry about the ranged. Good. Yeah. Okay. You, you can take care of the mage. Uh, four, if you plan to make your attack, it obviously will be a surprise round. Um, mm -hmm. So you will make your attack, and then we will do initiatives. Yep, one second. As you can hear, I drop the heavy die on the ground. Wonderful. <laughs> right. D20, going long. 14 plus 8, I believe. Yep, so that's 22. Oh yeah, you never did your favorite terrain in enemy. Oh, I'm in forest, and that isn't really going to help me because I'm not doing any other saving. Well, actually, that should have actually helped my saving for the climbing. But, ah oh, well. Yeah, keep on top of your features. Uh, yep. I can let you know that a 22 is definitely going to hit that small creature. Yep. He's so in for if a you would... bad time. So, if you would like to let your arrow fly... And give me the yep. damage of that first. So the arrow damage. The eight plus four. 
Ooh, that's a two. So <laughs> that's a so lovely... six damage. Six yep, damage. Six, six damage directly on him. Okay, okay. So you've um, done six damage to start. Okay, and now this will activate the hail of thorns. Yep. So so you... my one d ten. Oh, Do you want me each, to creature within, each creature within five feet, yeah, so it's hitting the three of them. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Uh you can you can roll your damage whenever mm -hmm. I'm rolling. Uh what's your DC, sorry? Uh my DC. Spell save DC, is it like a 14, 13, something like that? 13. 13. Okay, okay. Uh the one that you are hitting right now rolled a natural one. Mm -hmm. Uh the one to the the one underneath him. To the south, I actually rolled a nat 20. So, my first two rolls of the game, and this is what's happening. <laughs> uh, and the one up here rolled... Um, one up here rolled a 7. So, this one and this one have failed. This one has succeeded. Please give me the damage. Right, full damage, half damage. And the damage number is... 8. So... 8. eight. Okay, dokie. So, we will apply... Eight Damahi here. He's still alive. He'll play uh, eight Damahi up here, but this one here is just taking the four from that. And um, it's time to roll initiatives. Alrighty. Well, I do some. I'll use GM the bad tricks, actually. Oh, fuck. Four. I'll do some GM oh. GM bullshittery over here and not blow everybody's eardrums. Hopefully. Eleven. Oh god, yeah, I know the song. Hi. Of course you do. Uh, so I beg your pardon, Ford. Did I hear? God, I need... eleven. Yes, I heard from him. I heard eleven. Mhm. Mm so That's my good. initiative is seven. So do I add seven to my eleven, or as in your initiative is plus seven? Mhm. Mm yeah. So if you roll the eleven, you add the seven on for a total of eighteen. Yep. Mhm. Mm the, okay. bear, the bear and the lizard right. can work together. Yeah. Oh, this is dangerous. <laughs> Let's see. Cataphrasis, you got a four, confirming? Yep. Winfrump, I see an 18. Maddox, not last for a change. <laughs> uh, with a 12. Uh, we will sort that initiative. Uh, Winfrump in four. Hmm. Uh, can we combo Winthrop? You you can if you can th think of something to combo. Now, Fo, it's worth it's worth mentioning that you did a preemptive attack, so mm -hmm. you did that attack. Then initiative was ruled, so you could technically just go again immediately. Yeah, with dread ambusher. Yes. Just so the two the you. two of you are on the same initiative. So either let me know exactly what you are doing together, or let me know who is going first. You can just go first. Sure. All right. So, do we want to burn down this goblin, or do we want me to start focusing on the mage? Uh Hmm. Because I, mean, I can hunter's mark and then you know what? Double tap get, get him. The, get the mage. Yeah. I was thinking get the, the mage. Get 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 Right. mage. Get the mage. Get the Uh, DM says, eh, everybody. No, no, carry on. Just okay. remember that Just remember that it's the first turn after initiative was rolled, so you get to do your shenaniganery. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, if that's going to be the case, so I am going to cast the Hunter's Mark on the Goblin Mage. Okay, dokie. You start doing As stuff like action. find Hunter's Mark. Uh, it's under... <laughs> There it is. Yeah. Date and then markers and then. If you want, I can. If... After session, I can sit down with your campaign file. And we can try and make this a bit better. I can't yeah. the common ones in a in a, in, a, in an area. I'm good. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go get the other one. <laughs> Where's the other? There's there's like a. It will be under markers. I think it's just under markers. There we go. Right, four. Carry on, please. Right. Oh, you appear to you appear to have hunters marked yourself. Well, it's a channel. 
So um, let's uh, fix that. Yes, we have a thing for that. Think. Ah, okay. All right. So I'm now going to follow up with an arrow shot. On okay, the okay. Either way. And that is a again a nineteen plus eight to hit. Uh, so that would be so a twenty-seven. Uh, <laughs> funny enough, that hits. I don't believe you. I fucking no, no. hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Could you uh, imagine if he turned around and said, "That's a miss." <laughs> <laughs> That's not even a. It can use shield or anything. That is just get shit on. <laughs> Rangers are bad, by the way. <laughs> Right, so, oh, wait a minute. Uh, so this is, is going to hit, so I need another D8. Well, I'll just roll this one twice, because I've put the bag of dice away from me for some reason. Yeah. Right, D8, so first lot of damage. That is an 8, so okay. 8 plus 4, that's 12. And the bonus damage for Umbral Ambush is... That's on your, that's on your that's next attack. That's a 6. Attack. All right, you want to do that now, then? Do you want to just do that now, or do you want to do it on the attack? Because you haven't done uh, Hunter's Mark yet. Oh, so I haven't. So. <laughs> yeah, DM, DM is DMing you right now and is asking yep. you to do Hunter's Mark first, because you just hit this motherfucker for 12 damage. <laughs> <laughs> right, what do I roll for Hunter's Mark again? D6. That is a D6. Uh -huh. Yep, so... My D8 rolled a 6, so my 6 rolls a 6. Okay, uh, he is dead. Alright. <laughs> he, he, well. he is dead. He is just dead. <laughs> yes! Boof! That is one right. dead goblin. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this the other way. Where, how do I do... Oh, wait, I can just do this, can't I? How much damage just, did you do? What uh, was that? 6 plus the... What was uh, that, 8? Uh, you rolled, eight, the, you rolled a 6 on the D8? Uh huh. So that's ten, sixteen. Wait, didn't you roll eight on the D8? Uh, no, I did. Yeah, it was max damage. So that's 40, so... 40, So you did eighteen damage. Yes. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> you shot that motherfucker between the eyes. <laughs> he is uh, gone. Now this goblin fighter is now the lovely recipient of my hunter's mark. Uh, I'm negative. I'm sure that's he... not how that works. Uh. You need a bonus action to move it, and you use the bonus action to cast it. If the target drops to zero HP before the spell ends, oh, oh yes, bonus action on a subsequent turn to mark a new creature. Fair enough, right? Yep. What was the damage? Fires sorry? and missiles. What was the what? Sorry. Damage. Sorry. He did eighteen total. Thank you. He one shot that little bitch. Right. Uh, subsequent attack. Okay, that involves you rolling dice. We, we await you, sir. That is a 9 plus 8, so 17 to hit. <laughs> that absolutely hits. Just a casual plus 8 to hit. Yo, rangers are bad, by the way. <laughs> Some rangers are. No, people are just cringe. <laughs> right. Uh, so sir, I would I would remind you that this attack also has the extra D8 on top of it. Yes. So, so uh, <laughs> please roll me 2D8 plus 4 oh my God. on this so, goblin that you've already like, sh rocketed an arrow into. An explosive arrow, might I add. So yes, this first arrow deals 6 damage, so that's the plus 4, so that's 10 damage on top. Okay, and where's the other D8? I'm going to roll that of... again. For a total of... Oh, it's kind of on its side, but it is kind of more on the six. Uh, DM, do you want me to re-roll that? Oh, that's a six. Me me tilting that up, knocked yes. it on the side, so... Try, try and bounce off of the edges rather than throwing it into the corner. Uh, so how much total? Uh, it was... Uh... Was no, I did a 6 plus 4, then I rolled another 6, so 16 damage. 16, uh, 16 to Mahe. Uh, so it's, it's to no one's surprise. Well, that kind of... <laughs> okay. This, this, is, this is an encounter. 
<laughs> These goblins are very confused and very yes, scared. You, you I are, hope. Yes, you have caused panic. <laughs> Uh, are you I'm, done? I'm going to shimmy my sweet ass. If I can't see anyone coming up the ladders, I'm going to come here. Do I uh -huh. see anyone or yonder? He's got uh, from your current from your current position, you don't have a great vantage. You can see like around this maybe, and you see nobody. Okay, so I would have to move up more. Is what you're saying? I'm good where I am. Okay. Where from? You're up. Okay. Stevie is going to mount Winthrop. Uh, Stevie has mounted Winthrop. Okay. okay. <laughs> A good um, one. So, so help command can be cast then, yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah. You can use the help action if you want to. So, Stevie is going to help Winthrop and we are going to race car this way. Okay. Nina. Should be funny. No, maybe not. I don't. Do you want to go for the one that's most HP, or do you want to go for the one that's got least HP and absolutely put the fear into this poor bastard? I want to see if we can one hit this guy. Oh, good, okay. So we're going to attack that with claws. Uh, that would be with advantage because of the help action. Yep. So two D twenties, good sir. <laughs> Ten to hit. Uh, what were your rolls? A three and a five. <laughs> a three and a five. So, and you're a plus five to hit. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, it's a surprise round. Throw me a third dice. <laughs> I'm gonna get. I'm, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you this one. A big fucking bear just ran. He's fucking sitting on his ass right now. Give me a third one. Oh, okay, okay. A twelve to hit. Okay. Uh, 12 total? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that hits. <laughs> uh, like, sometimes even the DM's like, yeah, dice, fuck off. <laughs> Alright, so roll me your 4d6. 21. 21 total? 21 total. Wait, he's... 4d6? You only rolled 4d6. I rolled he ro twice. He's rolling two at a time. Okay, okay. Uh, no surprise. Blech. You just charge into this camp. This goblin is now fucking going crazy because two of its allies just died out of goddamn nowhere. And then this bear just appears and goes swoosh. Just off with his head. Are we all ready, Are we all ready for, for me to fail? I already took that from you. Cut, you need cut, to, come, you need come out screaming. You know, put the fear into them. Charisma check. Let's go. <laughs> Went from. I need to know if you're doing anything. No, I said that was it. Okay. I don't know if I can uh, do it or not. But... Mad is a persuader, not. not intimidator. <laughs> Maddox, you're up. Uh, oh dear, he's gonna just come here. I have clear light of sight, yeah. Ah, yeah. Blasting. Hi, Mally. You were here to roll my dice for me. Oh, you're st something stuck in your tail. Oh, you've been in Sticky Willow. Uh, with my plus... Ah, uh, where's my sheet? Mally, hi, Heidi. Uh, that's not, that's not the right sheet. That's the right sheet. Uh, it is a... Yeah. Plus six, yeah. So that is a 17. Uh, surprise, surprise, that hits. All right, let's, let's try... What are you doing? Eldritch Blasting. <laughs> Okay, no, okay. That's why like, I'm saying I'm blasting. <laughs> oh, I'm bla blasting, baby. I'm blasting. Uh, five plus four, <laughs> nine. For a total of nine force damage, it flies through the air and it just smacks into the chest of this goblin, and like he's you've just he's just fought he's just fell off the log, but he's alive. <laughs> Yep, naturally. <laughs> oh, oh, we'll okay. see about that. <laughs> right. I mean, there uh, are some it's... very flammable-looking tents here and here. Uh, okay, it is now the goblin's turn. Oh. Okay. <laughs> this one is going to get up and just starts screaming and tries to run. Yeah, that's what I, was, I expected. So he is off. Uh... <laughs> Went from. 
Yes. <laughs> there's a bit. There's a bit of moving fabric to your right. Okay. And out pops a goblin. Okay. To a bear. And he just takes one look at you, screams at you, takes the disengage action, and runs away. <laughs> <laughs> up here and he is going to take a pot shot at you with a with a 10 <laughs> it misses <laughs> that absolutely misses so yes uh, Catafracious it is now your turn I will yeah. I will have you keep in mind that there is now a goblin on the run yes don't worry I think Thul has it <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I'm just... This where, is cruel to the is goblins. It? There it is. What is the range of it? 60 feet, okay. So I'm just gonna yada 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 toll, toll the dead. Okay, okay. That would be a wisdom save, yeah? Yes, 12. Again... Sorry, did you say against the what? 12. Against the 12. And with a seven, it fails. Hell yeah! Is it... this this is a D twelve because it's damaged? That's what I was. I couldn't remember if it was D ten or D twelve. Yep, D twelve. Uh huh. Yeah. Fuck four. Four. It's low, but it's enough. The bells ring in its ear, and as it's running and screaming, it just falls over flat in its face. Right. Uh, uh. Hang on, let me see. Uh, Cause I was here. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. I see a dead okay, goblin. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he ran up and told the dead. Don't worry. Uh, four and Winfrump, you both technically have initiative, so decide what you're doing. So does you know. the bear want to chase after the archer? I mean, up, the, up the ladders, you know, put the fear of absolute god in this thing. Well, 100%. he can't—he can't actually get a charge attack in on that. So, but could he punch it off? Yes. After he got up there, I was about to have an entire Spoiling. side bet there, where, I, like, I might for the last like ten seconds, and my head is going bears and ladders but i've seen the way bears climb shit <laughs> oh yeah, yeah they can, yes they can climb so absolutely you know, absolutely and when from isn't just a bear he's an actual human so you could actually maneuver these ladders perfectly fine oh that's not a climbing speed or when from people so who is going are you going together okay. uh they can go first oh all right well i'll soften that up then i will move the hunter's mark target to this bad boy Okay. It's markers, isn't it? Bunk. Right. Right. Two hits. And... What's the, let's see. What's the range there? 80. Seven. That's a 75. So, what's your... Your longbow, aren't you? So that should be... 91. Oh, lo longbow. Uh, fuck. I thought you were talking about uh, Hunter's Mark. I think I'm 120. Uh, a longbow. We'll I, I'm pretty sure you're fine, but we will double check it just because it's good for everybody to have knowledge. Longbow. Uh, uh, 150. I, uh, then, yep, you're firing perfectly normal then. Yep. I was like, I know I have that wrote down somewhere. So, oh, that's a nat one plus eight, so nine to hit. Oh, mega. That does not hit, good sir. You've, your your arrow just flies over and just stabs itself into the rock. Probably making it flinch, but that's as best as I'm getting, I'm going to guess. <laughs> right, Anything can else? I, uh, you know, I don't want to inch any further, so... That'll do. I won't move from my spot. I'm done. Uh, when from it is your turn. Okay. I want to know what were they eating for dinner? What do I smell? <laughs> Priorities. Hold on. Hold on. I'll grab the notepad. Um. Ahem. 
On tonight's menu is an excellent cuisine of uncooked vegetables and questionable chicken breast. <laughs> Carry chicken? Okay, okay. Carry on. Yeah, like, it's still got some of the feathers on it. No question. That goblin is not close enough to the edge for me to knock him off of the uh, outcropping, correct? I can only knock five foot. Um... I mean... He would come if, off if, the you, if, you did, if you did it in that direction, if you did, if you knocked it to here, that would work. Yeah. Uh, but you need to get up there and hit it. Yes, that is the plan. And Bear is doing shoots and ladders. <laughs> and then I will go for mauling it. Oh, fucking God damn it! Yeah, let's bring you not on. That's not in the rock. Not in the okay. rock. Part of the boat, part of the rock, though. Okay. I wanted to go for the flying elbow. That's an eight to hit, so I'm going to say that misses. And then Stevie uh, is going to go for a force rend. Is Stevie helping you with that attack? No, Stevie was not helping. Okay, but is Stevie helping you with that attack? What do you mean? As far as the help action, or...? I'm, I'm, it's early sessions, I'm not going to be too picky if you just want to call in the help action right now, given that he's literally on your back. But doesn't the help action burn up a charge of the help action? Or the help? Yep. So you would defuse both charges. Yeah, no, I don't want to do that yet. Oh, good, okay. Uh, so you want him to attack then? Yeah, I want to hit with a force run. Okay, so using your bonus action, yes. you're going to have Stevie attack, so have him roll with his statistics. Actually, let me double check this. I'm going to make sure I don't bite myself there. Uh, familiars, forced, rend... Melee weapon attack, your familiars, spell attack modifier to hit. Um, what would his spell attack modifier be? Spell attack. Uh, have a double little checky. Melee weapon attack, your familiar spell attack modifier. Spell attack. He doesn't have spells. Uh, for the time okay. being, use his dex. Okay, so it was a 9 to hit then and miss. A 9... So what did you roll? 7. Okay, so that would be plus 4. Because you Where... still have your... He still, you still have... Uh, your proficiency. Oh, yes. So it's an 11 to hit then. An 11... Oh, it just misses. He is very, he is very just on your back and hanging out, and he just could not reach him. Familiar. Very familiar the, the, feeling. But that's it for the turn. That's the it for the dodgies turn. on this archer. <laughs> uh, he is, he is, yeah, he's kind of running for it. Maddox, you're up. Uh, can I see him from here? Uh, absolutely, yes. Absolutely, okay. Uh, there's no point in doing other spells. I'm just going to blast... Okay, start blasting. Uh, that's gonna be an 18? No, yes. Okie dokie. 18 hits. Ooh, that's a 9! Nine. 9 plus uh, 4. 13. 9 plus 4 for 13. You just send you just send the blast flying up past Winfrom. It just bonks into him. It's done a lot of damage, but he's still standing. Uh, enter. End. Uh, it is the goblin's turn. And once again, he is just gonna run screaming away with his disengage to get away from you, went from. So he so can he's... disengage as a bonus action? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, so he's gonna get still. over. He's gonna get Goblins over here, and he's gonna take another pot shot at you. And in his panic, with an all. Wait, no, with a 13. That hits. Wait, no, I'm dumb. It's 12. I can't fucking read. <laughs> he, he, only has, he, he does not have the right pluses. Uh, it's till next week. Beg your pardon. Uh, 12, sorry? said so that hits till next week. It hits till next week. Okay. Uh, where's, where is it? Where's my six? Uh, that does six piercing damage to you, good sir. Okay. And the obligatory one in the chat. <laughs> because of the way this, because of the different way this goddamn system works. Uh, Catafracious, you're next. 
Okay, I'm going to move right here as like a nice little choke point and toll the dead the archer. You're going to move there. Yeah. Oh, oh god, there might be a trap there. Just out in the open. Yeah. He has paladin. Uh, hold on. I need 19 to AC. <laughs> I need to make a roll real quick. Uh, I'm at 21 right now. Thank you. Oh, apologies. Um, sir? Hmm. Uh, there is a goblin here. And he has spotted you right out in the open. Okay. Okay. Uh, we'll do the Toll the Dead, though. Uh, 10. Uh, that, so I hit. Okay. So that is D12 again. Two. Uh, two. The bell, the bells go ringing, but he's still moving. My total of damage dead is not great. <laughs> yeah, it's a cantrip, to be fair. No, it's, okay. I just roll terrible. I roll terribly for it, like I always do. Ugh. Ah, yes, but it did hit. It did. It okay. Did. Uh, that'll be that'll be it for me. Okay. It's gonna come up to you four, but um, there's a bit of a there's a bit of a hoo ha about to start happening. So if I bring your attention up here, mm -hmm. you you only see this one goblin from your vantage point. But Kata, Fracious, he is making a lot of noise now. He has raised the alarm on your general presence. Mm, good. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also, uh... I forgot to set my favorite enemy, but I guess I'll do that after I kill this archer. So, I brought that up at the beginning, but... Uh, I, was, I was undead. My favorite foe beforehand was undead. Yeah. You can't see... I'm doing some DM stuff in the background here because of nonsense. Uh, Catafracious, you actually see a goblin appear from this tent. Okay. Right? He's going to take one look at you and say to himself, Oh, fucking shit. And he's actually going to bolt up here. Uh, and then you see a second goblin appear from the tent. <laughs> it's like okay. a clown car. Oh, it's a Minecraft spawner. <laughs> and he too is gonna bugger off up top. <laughs> Get him to move the way I want him to. Uh, okay. Uh, let's have a look. See then. Uh, with a two, the first one is going to miss you. And with an 8, the second one is also going to miss you, because you probably have a lot of AC right now. 21. Oh, so these two archers, once they got up there, they took a pot shot at you. They both miss. And then we are actually going to go to the top of the turn order. So, Foe and Winfrump, who would like to go first? Question. I'm still in the dark up here, right? So these two haven't probably spotted me, because, no. you know, big lizard you is... Kind Sir, of no, nothing has spotted you yet. Your stealth roll is still engaged. You're you're perfectly hidden from them. Mm. So tell me who would like to go first, or if you'd like to go together. Oh, can go. All right. Okay. Also, chest. Mm, lovely. Love a chest. There's a couple of them floating right. around. Watch for my mix. Great chest ahead. <laughs> I'm gonna go and. Go for another shot on this goblin archer. Hopefully, I'll hit it and I okay, won't okay. put a hole in the a rock. So, with my plus eight to hit, 11, 19 to hit. That absolutely hits. Fire away. Right. Plus, I need my d8 and my plus six. Just, a, just don't snake eyes, please. <laughs> Uh, three and four plus four, so eleven damage. All oh, right, yeah, the plus four. Uh, yeah, uh, the arrow flies across and he is gone. Yeah. It is now. Dead Are archer you... is dead. Are you uh, done? Uh, I think I'm going to stay hidden in the shadows for now. Okay, so you're you're done. Mm-hmm. I am done. Okay. Went from. <laughs> Where would you like to go? Would you like to come back down, oh. or would you, now that you're up here, would you like to start moving along? I think we're going to start moving along. 
Okie dokie. Yeah, we'll hang out. One more. There. And okay, okay. I'm going to bonus action heal on myself. Okay, okay. Just There's level a... one slot. Heal for four. For four? Okay, okay. Yep. And that'll be the end of my turn. Okay, dokie. Uh, Maddox, you're back on the table. Uh... I'm uh have to move up a little bit. Am I still twenty restricted or? No, no, you're you're full thirty. Okay. Uh. I can it see is you. worth noting that I'm keeping y'all in initiative because of the events that have transpired. Yes. Uh, I can see this one, or can I see these two as well? You cannot see those two up there. Uh, From your current your current LOS point, they are not available. The one in front of you absolutely is. Okay. Uh, I'd like to Eldritch Blast. Okay, okay. Uh, that's gonna be uh, eighteen again. Eighteen hits. Uh, six plus four, ten. Uh, for ten force to my head, just launch it. I imagine you just kind of like launch it like a key blast kind of thing. The way I've always imagined it is that you know when if when someone just like throws like a finger when you point at something and. That sort of thing. Finger guns. Yeah, like the objection from like, oh, uh, the uh, that you, you attorney. Hack show? <laughs> yeah. That kind of animation. You're, you're, Boom. You're, you're, yeah, you're, you're doing finger guns. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Do you, uh, has anyone go... else watched you? You hack a show? A long time yeah. ago. Yes, I know yes. what you're talking about. Spirit gun. It was a Maddox, big yes. brand. Uh -huh. The important question is, does it go? Pew? Yes. <laughs> okay. Pew, through the air, it smash. Enter this goblin for 10 damage. Uh, I'd like to sub in spiritual weapon. <clears throat> okay, let me go get him. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> no. Hold so, on. so Uni is playing Dead Space. Got it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Heavy pistol all Hold the on. way. No, the foam finger. <laughs> oh, yeah. Alright, uh, I can sub uh, up with you Yeah, I can yeah you have it. control. Alright, so... So I... you, you summon it where you'd like to summon it. Uh, we'll plop it, bonk. Okay, okay. And then forward one. Into bonk. the fire, coop goblin, coop goblin. <laughs> uh, I'm going to quickly double check that. I'm pretty sure sort of weapon can move if you move it. Because the other uh, option is that I move. No, I I still have five feet more movement, so I can move forward another one. Okay, uh, if that's the case, we'll we'll allow that. But for future, I'm gonna go double check it. I'm pretty sure it can move. It, 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 you can summon it within sixty feet. What are you doing? Oh, sixty. Okay, there we go. That's fine. <laughs> I thought it was thirty, like flaming sphere. Yeah. So the first turn, it's it's within sixty feet. You then get <clears throat> to move on subsequent turns with a bonus action. Yeah. So where you summon it is where it is, but it's sixty feet, so it doesn't matter. So. Yeah. Uh, you doing the thing? I'm doing the thing! Doing the thing. Um, Apparently, I do can you see the Blitzball stats? Uh, no. No. I'd have to okay, go into good. the actual things. Good, because it's been a while since you've used this. Apparently, this Blitzball has 33 HP for some reason. <laughs> 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 anyway, fine then. Uh, so that's an 11 plus 6. 17. 17 hits. Roll your D8 plus 4. Uh, D8. Oh, yeah, it's a D8. Roll a D10 by automatically. What was the number on the 10? No, I just rolled a D8 and it was 8. <laughs> so. Never mind then. Uh, for, was eight that plus, 12 to my Uh, 8 plus. I don't have any plus. It says I have a plus 4, but I don't think I do. It does have a plus 4. It takes your spell attack modifier as well. Ah, okay. Yeah, so that would be a 12. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, it dies. <laughs> You you turned up on this thing's existence as it was alerting the entire camp to Vast presence, and you just from behind Vast you just lean out like somebody out the Matrix with your finger guns, <laughs> <laughs> and as it flies through the air from over Catafracious's other shoulder, the blitz ball flies, <laughs> and they both just impact this goblin and take him out. If only FF10 blitz ball was like this. <laughs> People uh, would have else? created mods I to am, skip it. I am done, thank you. I will continue to hide behind the paladin. Okay. Uh, it is the goblins' turns. So. 
Uh, let's have a little looky here. Uh, Cat Fracious, you are the, the one that's kind of more in question just now. Oh. Uh, a 13 is not going to hit you. No. And there we fucking go. Big boy Damahe time. Nat 20. Let's go, baby. Uh, I say big boy Damahe like it isn't just literally two of these little shits. Uh, for 5, 3, 8, for 10 damage. God damn. 10 damage on a crit, which isn't great. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, the second one... Oh, no, that was the second one that threw the pot shot at you, wasn't it? Uh, let's yeah. have a look-see who else is doing that. Um, they're going to start backing up a little bit. Uh, from your vantage point, you're going to see... People are paying attention. This other fighter is going to come around and he's going to try and hit the Blitz Ball. Does the Blitz, blitz Ball have HP? It doesn't. That's why this is funny. Oh. <laughs> uh, and with a 7, he pulls his sword out and he just... It just... The, like, the Blitz was, Ball like, floats just, up. <laughs> yeah. The blitz, okay, there we go. The Blitz Ball just floats upward and dodges the attack and it just looks as if bewilderedly. <laughs> as it tries to take a second shot at it with a 13 and it's now trying to jump in the air and hit you, hit the blitz ball and it just can't get it. <laughs> what uh, what AC would this blitz ball have? It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't work, but this is like This is the... just funny. <laughs> so, you know, what, you know what I say when I give my mobs like AIs? Mm -hmm. That also comes with how intelligent are they? Oh. This goblin has just seen this object kill the one next to it, so it would want to attack it. But that's not how spiritual weapon works. Okay. Now that it has attacked it and that's not working, well, actually, it hasn't actually hit it yet, so it doesn't actually know that it can't hit it. <laughs> so the idea would be that once it actually like hits it, okay, what did I roll? No, I rolled like a 13, didn't I? I would have 13, didn't I? Yeah, 13. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that, yeah. so that would have... Yeah, so if we just go with, like, base 10 uh, AC logic, that would have hit. So that second swipe, it has now gained the knowledge that it can't hit this thing. So yeah. now it's going to move on. Okay. Uh, from out behind him comes a little wee goblin mage. And yeah. he is going to throw a firebolt at you, Catafracious. And... <laughs> on a 16, that doesn't hit either, because you are no. dumb. And... Let's see. Yeah, that's not going to work. Uh, let's have a look-see. Uh, if I can bring your attention up to the top right corner. Uh, there was these two lovelies that managed to get into position, because you weren't very sneaky about getting into the camp. <laughs> Uh, so, one thrump, unfortunately. Uh, an 8 isn't going to do fucking anything. Uh, and an 11? Also misses. Okay, they took two They took two shots at you and both of them missed. Uh, so, Cat Fracious, you are up. Alright, alright, alright. What would you like to do? Uh, I'm a... Come right here. And uh I'm gonna I'm gonna attack the goblin fighter. Okay, okay. Please make a roll. Twenty-one. Twenty-one hits. Yep. So that is D eight, if I remember correctly. Let me just double check that. Yep, D eight. Okay, okay. So nine. Nine uh, slashing, is that? Yes. Okay, nine Damahi, you run up to this creature. He's dancing with a blitz ball and you just come around the side and show him how to actually hit something. Slash. All right, still and standing. as my bonus action, I'm going to uh, activate my Ancestor's Invocation. Okay, okay. And then that will be my turn. Okay, okay. Four and one from. Same shit as always. Yep, they can go. Okay, so I'm guessing this is the only one I've got line of sight on. It's kind of the rocks are kind of blocking you on the others on the other one. Mm -hmm. You really don't yep. actually have much line of sight from there. I mean, totally honest. All right, I'll step up a little bit and just come myself here. 
Yeah. Just lean out a wee bit. <laughs> yep, that's fine. Yeah, I would say you have it. Right. So I'm going to use my bonus action to mark that one. Okay, I'm getting better at finding this. Right, and then I'm going to take a shot. Fire it. And that is a 6 plus 8, 14 to hit. 14 does hit. 14 does hit. So now my 6 and 8 plus 4. Let's go. A 1, 8 and 4. So that's 13 damage. Wait, you gave me three numbers there. What? Yeah, because I've got a plus Oh, four. right, yeah. Sorry. 14 damage? Yep, 14 damage. Boom. Come out of the shadows Wait, and you just... 14? 13. 13? 13, 13 damage, yes. 13 damage was dealt to the small creature. I assume it's probably quite bewildered with what happened. <laughs> I, I mean, it's getting shot at. Wouldn't you be bewildered? Yep. Anything else? Are you ending? Uh, just double check my... Uh, oh, yeah. I move... Since I did kill that previous one, can I move my favourite creature to... If that's what it means the mechanic? Are? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, just kind of humanoid goblins. Yeah. All right, so it's humanoid. You you keep track of that, and when it's relevant, you let us know. Yep. Okay. But note has been made, so I am good for now. Okay, just be vocal about ending your turns, people. Yep, ending my turn. Mine's just Windows 11 dislikes Discord keying in. I don't know what's been going on with it, but ever since I swapped operating systems, it just randomly won't key in. I mean, your problem okay. is, is that you're on Windows 11, so... <laughs> yeah, I've, I've heard nothing but issues with that. Yeah. So yep. That might be try and get that downgraded. If you can. Mm -hmm. uh, but it is your turn regardless. Wait till Windows 12. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to charge at him with claws, and... That, that's fair. Seven to hit. <laughs> oh, honey. You Can you get dice. some new dice? What is I, happening? It's three different dice that all like to roll under ten. It's amazing. You need new dice. Sat, More dice. Sat, you <laughs> wait, wait. Okay. I sat and rolled off to the side. I rolled a 20, a 17, and a 19. Hold on. Are you okay? I was about to say, are you rolling the 20? <laughs> Your yes. dice want a dice tray. Get them a proper dice tray. It's, it's not. Yeah, get rid of the box, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> the, box is, the box is cursed. <laughs> uh, but a seven does miss good. Yes. So, what, so what did you roll? Like a three then? Yes. Or, or a four? No, no, a two. A two, a two plus five, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, you, you, you missed, sir. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, and Stevie's going to go for a force run. Okay, get rid of the box. Jesus Christ. Pulse is cursed. Stevie hit with a 10, which will miss. A 10 does miss as well. And that You're will a very be intimidating presence over there, sir. <laughs> he is being yeah. a very drunken bear. <laughs> Anything else? No, that'll be it. Mad exit is your turn. Okay. Uh, how high are these boxes? Yes. Five, six foot. So am I taller than them or shorter than them? Because I'm 5'10". Your eye level would be shorter. Your eye level would be under them anyway. Okay, it's at least some cover. So I'd like to... Wait, you can you can take cover, but now you can't see. I mean, the plan is, so that was 10 movement. Yeah, he, he can see me. Can he see me? Uh, who are you pointing to? Uh, yeah, the I, one know, the I know he can see me, but the thing is, is that if I go here, they can see okay. me. <laughs> so this this one would have you on an open shot. This one, I would treat that as like at least half cover. Uh-huh. Which and... would mean you basically, like to this one, you have an extra two ace. Okay, and these guys? But this, cover, but this one's an open shot to you. Yeah, I, I can deal with uh, one. It's also wounded. Wait, from who? From these, these two up here? These two up here. It's practically full cover. Like, okay, yeah, that's good. That's that's all I need. Yeah, they can't see you from them. So uh I'm They also have a bear in front of them. <laughs> yeah, so I Yeah, they're they're I also they're also dealing with a situation right now. Yeah, move ten, so I'm moving another ten to get into view. 
Uh, I'm gonna go okay. Eldritch Blast the Mage. Okay, give him the old finger guns. <coughs> How does Maddox know what a gun is? <laughs> it's a cult. You pee. It's a cult, uh, don't ask. Uh, uh, so finger that's crossbow. 17 finger plus crossbow. 6. 23. Uh, a 23 hits the mage. Oh my Christ. Uh, I need uh, this one. Uh, 7 plus 4. 11. For 11 damage? Yep. Okay. A le the, the little pew fry fries through the air <laughs> and smacks the little goblin mage. Uh, I might go under this token. We'll see. Oh no, I'm over. Okay. Uh, I'd like to smash a weapon, the mage. <laughs> No problem. Ah, uh, dearie me. Ah, uh, that's a hot miss. That's gonna be a four plus six. Uh, yeah, that is a hot miss. Uh, it turns out the ball does not do good when it tries to roll over corpses. Apparently not. Apparently it gets offended. Yes. Ah, uh, intern. Oh no. Back behind boxes. <laughs> intern. <laughs> Back. Okay, that. Yeah, it does make a difference. <laughs> uh, it's the goblin's turn. Uh, this one is actually going to take a shot at you. Uh, wait a minute. I thought I'm still. Yeah, I was about to say you're. You're actually. It doesn't see you at all. Now that I think about it. So Maddox, it is your yep. turn to get yep. sniped at. Uh, so with a seventeen, I'm going to take it to that hit. Uh, that definitely hits. Yes. Does does it matter? Oh, I guess that wouldn't be full cover then. Yeah. No, not not against this bottom one. No. That's not even. No, that, that no, that has a clear shot. Yeah. At you. Just, just want to make sure. Just I, sure. I recognize that, but I have cover against three of them, so I thought that was better. Uh, so for a grand total of eight piercing damage. Yep. Uh, and you have no concentration to check. I have so, no concentration to check. It's full of spiritual uh, weapon. <laughs> wonderful. Uh, Catafracious, you shall be next. The other archer up top is going to take a shot at you. And with a 13, I uh, take it that it's going to miss, because... Uh, <laughs> oh no, I, let me tell you right now, with a 23 AC, they have to crit you. Yep. Yes. Uh, we'll go to the fighter, and you're right in his face, and we're going to mm -hmm. roll with an 18. Nope, that's not going to hit you either. Correct. So are we making it that he's dodging these, or they're just hitting him and he's just standing there as if... And he's it's hitting nice. the armor and doing nothing to him. I say, what, what I'm imagining now is just, like, the melee attacks, I'll just, like, bat away with my shield and the arrows are just, like, plinking off off my armor. It's just like, yep. oh, thank dead, you. Dead now eyes I, now staring. I, now, okay, now I uh, have an arrow. A mage is going to pop out from the other side of the campfire as well. And where's the other spell that they have? Because I did give them one of each. Let me just double check. Okay, okay. Uh, Catafracious, if you could give me a wisdom saving throw against a 13. Okay, uh, hang on. I, I, I was fucking around with some stuff. Uh, wisdom, they, have no, just no. Seen, they have just seen their melee ally tank off of your armor and are not around to Nat fuck 20. around with that bullshit. Nat 20, you completely resist the Toll the Dead that the first one is going to cast on you. Uh, the second one is going to try it, though. If you could give me a second one at DC 13. Another Nat 20. <laughs> Holy shit! That's our double Nat... That's our first double 20. Yeah. That's our first yeah. double 20 of the campaign. Holy shit! You... Bro, you're just a juggernaut to them. You just waltz in here, not a fucking care in the world, kill one of their allies at the goddamn door, walk up to them, this little one tries to square up to you, tanks off of your armor, the two mages come around to try and blast necrotic energy at you, and you just stand there unfazed like a fucking abomination to them. <laughs> to be fair, one arrow hurt him, and I think it's just pissed him off. And now <laughs> no. the rest of them are feeling his wrath. <laughs> uh, Catafrucius, <laughs> give me an intimidation roll. Uh, that is... So for me, that'd be a d20 plus four. Uh-huh. 20. Not a nat 20, but 20. Dirty 20? Yes. Uh, none of them None of them have pluses, so... Okay, the first one rolled an eight. The second one rolled a five. These two mages are shit frightened of you. 
just, just staring at them, saying to the mine, you're next. Yeah, I'm gonna go quickly. <laughs> gonna Once go your quickly. warrior's finished, it's your turn. <laughs> quickly find it. Uh, they are actually frightened of you. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Hell he took yeah. that 20 dust spells. Like, that was epic. Hell yeah. Uh, I do have two more little creatures to deal with, though. Uh, one from uh, a 10, I take it, misses. And a 4, I take it, misses. Yep. Uh, they're both going to take pot shots at you. This one is going to try and get away from you. This one is going to disengage away from you as far as it can go. Oh look, he's in charge distance. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, uh, Mr. Juggernaut, it is your turn. <laughs> I, I'm trying I'm trying to get the positioning right on this. I, re I really uh -huh. no, you take you take your time. So not only is he a standing unkillable juggernaut, he's about to breathe fire on them. He is about to he's become about to... their next no, god. No, it's thunder. It's, it's, it's not fire, it's thunder. It is, he's, he's, for, he's literally about to fish roll da these motherfuckers. Yeah, it's it's almost it's almost like if you ever stood if you ever stood in front of the speakers at a at like a metal concert and you feel yes. your entire body like thump. Yes, that's, that's, my that's, what, that's what thunder is, essentially. It's that, but it's violent. You shake people to the absolute core. That's okay. precious. Become God. <laughs> All right. So c can I be there? No. I, I would say you're pushing it. Okay. Because I'm I'm am trying I'm just trying to get the posi the position. What, right? it, what are you trying? Make 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 the cone. What what is the cone? Is it 15? Yeah. Make make the cone shape. Doesn't 15 hit them? No. Like every time that I do it, no matter what position, except for that one, it requires 20 to hit all three. Uh, fuck it. Given what you've just pulled, I'll allow it. <laughs> okay, breath weapon. Okay, go for it. Uh, I need to make a DC. Is that? Is it? Is uh, it me? I'm I'm double checking. E yes. So so that's eight plus my con plus proficiency bonus. So I believe that's fifteen. Uh, no, that's definitely too high at your level. Uh, so it's eight plus my. Well, eight oh, plus con. two plus con. Okay. So thirteen. So yes, thirteen. Okay, uh, the warrior in front of you, with a 12, you're hitting him for max, and these two frightened fuckers, they're at disadvantage. Where's my other 20? Let's see, with a 14 and a 5, so a 5 is going to fail, and a 3 and another 14, so all three of them fail. Oh uh, yeah, D D10, where's my D10? D10 thunder? Yes. Alright, there's my D10. Motherfucker just walked Eight. into camp and has two mages pissing themselves. Eight Damahe on everyone? Yep. Right. Uh, the, fight, the fighter takes that just point blank range. He is looking really worse for wear. Aw, oh, I was hoping he'd be dead. The mage that's closer to you has dropped dead. You, the, <laughs> just the thunderous energy just waves through it and just its heart just skipped a beat and he did. Yeah, it's Starting uh, liquefying his organs. The one next to him takes the full eight. Anything else? Uh, uh, you know what? I am going to start rotating myself right there. Okay. Yep. yep. Say the line. Uh, and turn in. Thank you. Uh, four and Winthrop, same shit. Uh, yep. You can go first, Winthrop. Just to mix it up. Okay, Stevie's actually gonna help this time. Yay, what's a boy? Hit with claws. See, when you only have a when you only have a when you only have a movement speed of a twelve attackers advantage. Yeah. Uh, was that with advantage? That was with advantage. I rolled a two and a seven. I'm buying you more. I'm see when you come to Sweden. I'm buying you dice. I'm buying you dice. I'm giving you dice in Sweden. I'm going to give you dice. I was literally already going around because I'm tired find, of it. We will find a dice shop. We are going to buy you dice. Uh, yeah, but these things will have like twelve total. All right, on four d six plus yep, plus three. three. Right. 
Uh, you charge this motherfucker, you get a clean swipe and he is he's looking bad. Uh, also, I love that like they just want to keep running away from you, but you are nearly double their movement speed. Uh, Vast, I hope that you brought enough for everybody. The end. <laughs> they are blue raspberry cookies. Base, <gasps> did you bring oh. enough for the table? No, I want. No, I want. No, I want sugar. <laughs> hey, Scott. Yeah, when I'm ending, I'm going to just type end. That way, it's not a question of what I'm through or not. Oh, don't, no, I I got you, brother. It's just that I okay. saw somebody munching. Gotcha. Just wanted to make sure. <laughs> Four, it is your turn. Right. I'm going to thwip at this one. Uh, you can thwip at it? Yeah. Is that, like, is that like a Fortnite dance or? No, no. It's a... It's a thwip. Uh-huh. With my bow and arrow. Thwip. Uh, yeah. So yeah, 10, that's... so 18. 18, uh, 18 to hits. Hit. Yep. Six plus eight. There we go. Right little goblin foe so my plus four with my normal longbow plus these two is 10 damage four uh, to four so the full 10 damage uh your arrow flies and just he's he's done you just it dinks him and he just falls oh. very dramatically to, yep i'm gonna move myself up okay 10 feet no, Okay, now that you're past the boundary, mm -hmm. you're going to have to make stealths if you want to stay hidden. Yep, and with my favorite enemy, I have advantage on stealth checks. Okay. Okay. So, so my plus eight with advantage. Okay. Let's, let's, so, let's hear it. Let's hear it. So first roll is a seven plus eight, so that's 15. Okay, and the second one? Second one is 18 plus 8, so 26. You uh, you don't exist. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Thanks for playing. <laughs> right. uh, you I will end my turn. Head. Okay, okay. Uh, Maddox, you're back on the field. Back on the field? Do, 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 do. Oh, hi! Ah. Uh... There's significantly less goblins than the last time you poked your head yeah, out. I still can't see anyone up at the top here, can I? Uh, you, you can probably see the one, like, up here. And you can see the one next to Winfront because you can see Winfront. I can, I can see the bear. Okay. Uh, this, this one, this one is, you're being blocked. That's fine. This, yeah. I, I will Eldritch Blast this top one then. The one where, sorry? Uh, the one directly north of me. Uh, let it fly then. So, <laughs> so Maddie peeked his head around the corner after hearing a massive burst of thunder and just saw that one of the mages was dead. <laughs> I, I like, I like to, I like to, I like to imagine that the crates rattled as you were hiding behind them. Like, what the fuck? Maddie's just sitting here going, I'm glad I'm not on the receiving end of whatever the fuck just happened. <laughs> I, I, I love that Eon is just vibing <laughs> down here, by the way. <laughs> um, anyway, that is... He's enjoying the fire. That's a 24. My man is, my man is like, he, to he told me to stay here. I stay here. I hope it's not scary. Oh, that's a 24, honey. A 24 hits. <laughs> Surprisingly. Uh, three plus four. Uh, four. <laughs> Uh, for the seven force damage, you come out. You is that is this? I, I I'm sorry, but now that it's the finger guns, every time you come out from somewhere, it's I'm just seeing like the Matrix, like <laughs> Neo diving out from behind the pillars in like the train station scene. So for the seven force damage, flies through the air, dinks it. Speaking not, of Eon, not, tra not train station, office building. Yeah, but they do it in the train station as well, right? Oh, but he doesn't have the gun then, does he? It's the Marshall fight there, isn't it? He, he, do, he does, but him and Smith are holding each other's guns. They're like, they do yeah. it. There is a slow mo, but they're like circling in the air. Yeah. The, the yeah. diving from behind the towers mm -hmm. and flipping and shit, that is the office building. Okay. Yeah. okay. So this Any is kind of like very Max Payne style jumping out. And... Uh, I've never seen The Matrix. <laughs> I've only seen the memes, so. <laughs> How dare you? So we, we are watching it in Sweden. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I am going to move Eon up. <laughs> Seeing as I remember that he's just vibing back here. Um, yeah, he's, um, he's just being hes just being an invisible fish. He's just being a fish. He's just going, oh, it's so uh, everything. Uh, spiritual weapon. 
I'd like to whack the mage, please. Oh yeah, you have that. Go on. Uh, another, the, the, another eighteen. <laughs> Don't yeah, look uh, yeah. This this mage is this mage is shaking. He is basically nearly in a recovery position, and he has wet himself. He is not having a date, and now there's just a ball in his face. Get too bad. Oh, I, I men rolled. That's a, that's a five. Okay, uh, I'll let you know that with a five, you have made his day worse because my man is practically on the ground, shaking in fear. His heartbeat is irregular. He's just in a wet puddle, and this fucking beach ball just comes up and goes, bonk. We need to get the beach ball sound. Bloop. Yeah, you're, you know the one, the exact noise I'm yeah, talking about. I know. He's, just, he's still alive, and now his just existence is. <laughs> he's expecting to just he's just like punching his arm like wake up wake up wake up wake up oh, and I will move back behind the box <laughs> as you do he's gonna just crawl back behind her and go I have no idea what the fuck happened but okay <laughs> he just pokes around and there's a guy dead and there's just things all moved all over the place <laughs> <laughs> and, um... oh, my... oh my god it is the is the goblin star. <laughs> uh, this 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 one, see, like it's you've it's actually lost sight of your cat face. You've actually put yourself out of sight of it. So it's gonna take a long shot over to Winfrom instead, seeing that its ally is being chased down by a fucking bear. Now there's a bear <laughs> uh, on a nine. Miss. It's gonna miss. And um, have, have a nice day. It is going to stay put. Uh, the one next... To, uh, actually, this one here. Uh, oh, wait, no. Maddie fu fucked off, actually. <laughs> I went back behind the box. Uh... He knows I'm behind the box, but I'm merged so behind this one, the he box. Act he, actually has to, he actually has to come here. Did I not put that on loop? I'm going to end you. I did put it on loop. I was lied to. <laughs> Uh, he's actually going to have to move forward to take a shot at you, Winfrump. Uh, and on a 17, I think we're hitting this time. Yep. Uh, now, he has an ally within five feet of you, so his sneak attack is actually triggering. Oh, they are rogues. So, That's what I thought. So, with a two and a one, it doesn't fucking matter. Uh, two and a one plus the two, so uh, that's five piercing damage on you, good sir. Yep. Uh, the obligatory one in the chat. And then with his remaining movement, he is going to bugger off. Because he is just like, there's a bear chasing us. I need to get away. Uh, this little bogger is going to disengage. Come back here. Take another shot at you. And on a seven, he is just, he is just, he is being chased by a bear. You try and shoot some, you try and shoot a bear that's chasing you down. And then he's going to fuck off to his ally. And now shit is just hitting the fan for them. Uh, who have I missed? Mage man! Uh, Vast, you've, also, uh you've also missed the fighter. Uh, yeah, I'll get, I'll get to that. Uh, <laughs> Catafracious, please make a wisdom saving throw with advantage. <laughs> Hang on, I'm looking for my second. This, this thing. may be the, this may be the worst thing you have done to a mob yet. Who's <laughs> <laughs> uh, this? Ten. You. Ten. Ten. Yeah, with advantage. Yeah, I rolled a 10 and a 7. Okay, and and his last oh, act... Oh, wait, wait, hang on. 12. Because uh, Ancestor's Blessing, plus 2 on saving throws. 12. Okay. Uh, it's still You're still missing one there, unfortunately, because nah. it's DC 13. But it's good that you remembered that, just in case it mattered. Uh, so in its last act in life, uh, uh, probably, it is going to hit you for 2 necrotic damage <laughs> with Toll the Dead. <laughs> uh, you have no resistances or anything, do you? Uh, not in a chronic, no. Oh, good, okay. Uh, the little, the little fighter man, right, is, everybody around him is dying. He is so fucking done with everything. He is just like, I don't want to deal with you anymore. And he's like, there's somebody that keeps fucking popping out from behind here, and I am fed up of this guy. So he is going to try and nope, run nope, past. Nope, 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 Uh, yeah, Sentinel. Uh huh. Opp opportunity attack. So. Get uh huh. Back All right. So that's. Uh, seven plus four plus six. What? Or not? Not six 17? plus two. No, se seven. Seven plus four plus two. Thirteen. 
13. Yep, it does hit. Okay. The Ancestor's Blessing made that difference, by the way. Yes, yes it did. Uh, so that is D8. Uh, 6 plus 2 is 8. Uh, plus and, 8. So yep. he is, that's everything, 8 total Ancestors and everything? Yeah, I, I, rolled, a, I rolled a 6. So okay. But you rolled a 6. Yeah. Oh, do I? Was it? Is it plus two for strength as well? Yeah, plus two for strength. So ten. Okay. Yes. Ten. Okay. So he is just fucking done with you. You have, you have just come up to these motherfuckers. You're just running their shit, and he's like, "I am done with you. I am going to someone else, and somebody else can fucking deal with you." And in his attempt to run past you, you just throw your sword out behind you and clip him in the back. He is, he is done. Bad likes. Bad likes. Uh, <laughs> sorry. What a. Thank you. Uh, for the tail, he he just he just falls. He is just done. Back of the neck. Mm -hmm. Maddox, Next. we're totally oblivious to this. <laughs> from from the tent, finally appears another goblin. Uh, Cat Fracious, you're the only one that actually sees this, right? But he takes one look at you. There's there's this there's this pitiful excuse for a goblin in front of him. Just an absolute shame to all of their kind and a red aura starts to envelop this new goblin on the battlefield as he just lets out a cry of rage okay so barbarian there is also a spiritual weapon in his face that's kind of hovering over his dead friend yeah it's a spiritual weapon that's just going just bonk on this <laughs> mage <laughs> <laughs> so he is gonna charge around <clears throat> to the side of you, and he is going to take, using Reckless Attack, he's going to take two shots at you. Okay, that 16 isn't going to do anything. And that was double 16s uh, for the first one, so that's not going to hit you at all. Uh, that's a nat 20, so thank God. Uh, I'm going to roll the second one to see what it would have been. It would have been an 18 total. So nat 20, and then uh, big boy critty time. And he is going to come up with his... So that's three, that's five. Uh, three, five, eight, twelve, four, fourteen. On that. Okay. How? Uh, he, uh, he has... He, so he's like... He has like a lot of damage kind of going on top of itself right now. Um, Because he has like rage bonus and everything. Uh, so... Just in case anybody does not, he has recklessly attacked you, which means now all attack rolls against him, uh, you all do with advantage. And I believe that's everyone. If I miss someone, that's on me. Juggernaut, you're up. <laughs> hmm. Do we finish off the mage or do we smack the berserker? I think Maddox can take the mage. I can deal with mage. Leave him, Leave him be. The beach ball can finish him. I can blitz ball, bro. It's the best thing. <laughs> Juggernaut, you're up. Yeah, no, I'm. I'm just. I'm just trying to trying to figure out real quick. I shall use my channel divinity uh, on <clears throat> conquering presence. So make a wit. So make a wisdom saving throw on the berserker, and then I can I can I can see this one right. Uh, no, not from your position. You like you've you've lane of sighted it, so you you are both blocked from each other. Like it couldn't it couldn't hit you before because of your position. So if it can't see you, you can't see it. Okay. Okay. Uh, then yeah, I'll use I use my channel divinity on for conquering presence anyway on the. Make a wisdom saving throw on the goblin berserker, and I guess on the mage, but it doesn't really matter for that. I mean, I'll I'll do it, I'll do it for the I'll do it for the fun of it. Uh, it, can be, it oh, can you do blind it? Blind terror. If, if it fails, it dies from a heart attack, and 
it in fear. <laughs> or like it'll take damage. Okay. Or I it has to give up his turn to run. I, I okay, I love that, but I want a contested roll for it. Okay? okay. So we are going so I'm gonna roll first. If it then if it fails the roll, okay. we are then going to do a T twenty a, a raw D twenty contest against each other. Okay? Okay. Okay. So, you, you have so to be... first of all, a seven is it's failed. I take okay. it. Right. And then I will give you my number first and then you can roll. So okay. my contest against you is a four. <laughs> Alrighty. Beat a four. Three. It oh. doesn't die. <laughs> I actually survived that. <laughs> well, well, that was fair game. Uh, so, no, you have scared it has, it has now soiled itself even more than it already had, but it's alive. Um, and for the Berserker, that will be with advantage. Uh, well, 17. So, yeah, 17 and a 9, so 17. Uh, what happens it, on a success? Why would it be with advantage? Part of its rage. Uh, what well, I can tell, I can tell you right now, just because we're in sports stuff. What I've done is, is I've not given it, I've not given it any subclass features, mm. but I've given it better. Um, I've given it like more defenses and things like its soft stats to accommodate. So this would have been a, this would have been a, what do you call it? Not a berserker barbarian. What's it called? Wait, is that a Berserker Barbarian? Battle I think major? it is. A... No, this would have been a Berserker Barbarian, but I didn't want a fucking Barbarian, like, run, like potentially just one-rounding any of you with the extra attack. So to compensate, it gets advantage on its soft stats while raging. Okay. And you said I... Ha so if I attack it, I have uh, attack with advantage on it, correct? Yes. It, yes. it has rec it has used reckless attack, which gave it advantage on all of its attacks. As a consequence, all attack rolls against it are done with advantage. Okay. Um, just to double check, it succeeded. Is there any lingering effect, or is that no. just nothing? No. It's it, you. If you fail it, you become frightened. Okay. And is conquering presence a bonus action? Yeah. Yes. Well, it's it's channel divinity. Okay, oh but, no! It is it, it is an action. Never mind. It is an action. That, that, oh, good, okay. that is that is my bad. Um, we always double check. We're we're always learning. Even I have to ask. Uh, so is there anything with your bonus action you'd like to do, or? Uh, there's there's nothing I can do. All of my stuff is actions. Okay, no. that's fine. So I I take it we're moving on then. I'm just I'm just double checking to make sure there's there's nothing else. Lay on hands is an action. Yep, yep, that's it. In turn. Okay. Uh, full win from same skip, same shit. Yep, they can go. Right. Uh, do we want me to focus this other archer before it becomes a problem, or do you want me to help out with the berserker? <clears throat> um, Maddie can see the archer, right? Uh, no, no, I cannot. So it would be just me that can see it. Yeah. And do something about it. Yeah, I suggest you deal with the one that... Because nobody else can get that one. Right uh, do, 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 Just checking my... Abilities... Okay, I'm just going to say this just now. We're on a smaller table just now, so this is fine. But in actual sessions, know what you're doing on your turn before you get there, please. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So well, to be to... fair with the Berserker, it kind of happened right before my turn. Uh, so that that is that's the extremes. Like, yeah. but mm. commonly, like, don't now be deciding what you're going to do. Now that it is your turn, have that prepped and ready to go for when it is your turn. Because when yeah. I get strict well, on my... the timer, y'all are fucked. I mean, my my choices are this or this. I just wanted to get other people's opinion. So yeah, you you okay. can okay. Those two. If you're stuck. Okay, but now that you uh -huh. have chosen. Immediately, yep. you should be telling me what you're doing. Yep. So I'm going to attack. I'm going to move. Sorry, Hunter's Mark to this one as my bonus action. Okay. I'll find the thing. Dink. And I'm going to loose an arrow at it. Not plying so, an arrow or whatever you said before? We're getting different the noises? The whip. The whip. He said, he said the whip. whip. I don't fucking know, bro. 
So, oh, that's our one. So that's nine to hit. Uh, yeah, you're trying to peek out from behind the rocks and you're just not getting the angle. Your arrow flies right past. That's why I get for loosing and not whipping. Next time. Right, end of turn. End of turn. Uh, when front, you are actually up this time. Okay, I know this is going to surprise you. We're going to chase down the goblins again. What? No. Yep. So no. we're going to take a claw swipe at that. Okay, okay. Was that whiff charge or? No, there's no way to get charge on that. At least no way that I see. But okay, it is okay. a 20 to hit. Uh, 20 uh, hang, hang 20. On. Dirty. Hang on. Couldn't... You could do here to here. That's 20. So Does it here. have over 5 HP, Scott? Yes. I mean, I think it's going to die, because I hit it for a 12. Everything else has died around 18, I believe. Yeah, uh, you know what? That's actually... You're bang on the money with that. The, the archers have 18 HP. Uh, so with a 12, you run up to this, you get your final claw attack in, and he dies at your yeah. feet. It died. It, I rolled an 8 anyway. And, that, and then I will heal myself with level 1 spell. Okay, okay. For 1. Or one. Right, just give me a second. I'll get. Okay, I'm remembering the one. I'll get that sorted for you in a moment. Uh, but but um, sorry, I had to. Sorry, I had to sort something there on the side. Uh, oh, so okay. we are healing. I nearly healed Stevie for one, so we're healing you for one. Okay. Yep, we're done. And we're done. Maddox. Uh, we're going to spiritual weapon first. The mage. Uh, not from where you're standing, you're not. Oh, I need to command first. Okay, bonk. <laughs> uh -huh. You you need line of sight. Okay. Okay, uh, go for it. Um, eleven plus six, seventeen. Seventeen hits. Uh, seven plus four, eleven. Eleven damage. Uh, you know what? You have ripped this one a new one. How do you want to do this? <laughs> This um, deserves that. Have you seen, like, cartoons where the ball just goes boing, 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 like, repeatedly? <laughs> like some old Tom and Jerry shit? Yeah, this Clubber. is like a hammer into the ground. <laughs> just on top of it, like, boing, 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 like a, uh, like a drill core or something like that. Okay, so this, so the blitz ball hovers over the goblin and just starts bouncing into it until there's, it's just dead in a small crater on the ground. Is that what I'm taking it? <laughs> It gets, it gets pale drive down, so only the head sticking out the ground. <laughs> how much how much damage did you do? Eleven. Seven, was it? Oh, yeah. Oof. <laughs> man is, my man is, my man is not okay. He is not okay. Uh, I would like to Eldritch Blast the Berserker, please. Uh, you, you may do so. It does come with advantage. Yes. That's a nat 20. Never fucking mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, it's these two guys. Big, big boy crits. Uh, so that is a four and a seven, plus another four, so eight plus seven, fifteen. Fifteen, yeah, fifteen. Okay, so the fifteen damage goes through. You f you feel no resistance from your magic whatsoever. Uh, given that you did credit though, uh, can you give me some like how how did that happen for you? How did you go about that? Um, Maddox kind of skidded out from behind the boxes after hearing more commotion, because he has no idea what's happening behind them. He's just going, oh shit, who the fuck is that? Uh, I can't talk, and he just <laughs> panic throws it, and it just so happens to hit him square in the eye. <laughs> just boof, you're just slamming the Eldritch Blast into the side of it. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, it's just time for me to go back into hiding and in turn. Okay, dokie. Uh, it is the Berserker's turn. And given that some blonde looking thing just came out of nowhere and s shot something into it, he is very pissed off. Naturally. Uh, so, first of all, he is going to make a run for it. No, he isn't. <laughs> uh, 
shit, so that's a six plus four. quickly four. get rid of that for a sec. So that's a twelve. Oh wait, I, do, I, do I still have advantage? You don't, no. So twelve. It's it's on his turn just now. Okay, uh, a twelve misses. So he tries to make a mad dash past you. He's just he's just too fast for you, and he comes over here, swing, and he is pissed. Uh, Hello there. Yeah. Get I'm, I'm doing some tidy up here. I think I'm a bit fucked. <laughs> <laughs> he just fucking dives at you, screaming. And with his reckless attacks. Oh no, I'm gonna uh, get a that bit. That second, that second one being a 19. That definitely hits. Uh huh. Um, this, is, this is gonna sting. This, this, I, this is going to sting. So, uh, four, four, two. So he comes in and he just stabs at you with one of these kind of butcher blade cleaver things that he has. And the first one hits you for 10 damage. Uh-huh. Oh, no. Uh-huh. And then he's going to recklessly attack with you on a second one. Oh, oh no. that's a five. There's a chance. And with a six, for a total of 10? Nope. <laughs> that's a big 13. He, he's, he's so proud of that first hit. He swings the second blade around and it just, like, dinks off of the crate. And now he's like, oh, fuck. So the second one doesn't land at all. <laughs> blink, blink. Have you tried aiming a bit higher? <laughs> Are you antagonizing him? Yes. <laughs> He's being Let's Maddox. Let's make an angry creature even angrier. <laughs> He's, maybe we'll have a heart an aneurysm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> That's just Maddie being Maddie. He's just uh, on asking an innocent question. <laughs> make... Uh -huh. Make a performance check. Oh, I do have a plus four to them. Oh, that's the... Not where it's supposed to roll. That's a nat one. Okay. That's a, that's um, a five. <laughs> okay. You try and get sassy with this goblin, and as much as he's like... As much as he's only like four foot tall, he just lets out this mighty roar in your face. <laughs> Maddox. And he is having none of it. And Ma the blade and the blade that was stuck in the crate, he's like, he's just screaming and he just pulls the blade out of the crate that it got stuck into. And he is just screaming at you. There's just there's just spit flying all over you. Maddox is uh wiping the spit off of his face. <laughs> and he's just like, well, I don't know, ended up how I expected. <laughs> this goblin here is totally confused about where these random pot shots are coming from, but he's still safe, so he is going to go for the bear. And with a 14... Hits. Hits. And that will be with... Oh no, that's that's dead. That's not sneak attack. So for a grand total of four damage, I was about to apply sneak attack to that, but the other one's dead, so it doesn't fucking matter. Okay. And then this one, you're getting very close. So he is going to do the traditional maneuver of run the fuck over here to his ally. And now he's like, I don't know what the fuck's going on, but I'm going to take a pot shot at you as well. And with a 17. Hit. Right. And that hits for three damage. So that's another three piercing. Okie dokie. Uh, do I have anyone else on the field? I don't fuck. I don't believe I do. I believe nope. it's... Yeah, this is a... Uh... This is all. This is all happening. I'm gonna quickly put him back where he was. Um. And with that, uh, Juggernaut, it is your turn. Okay, come down here. All right. Yep. So this this will be a flanking attack. This already... will be a flanking attack. Do you remember the rules of this specific flank? I say because I because I because I, I looked up flanking. So, uh, Jason, do you know what I mean? They flank that enemy, and each of them has advantage on melee attack rolls against that enemy. Okay. So the question is, I already have advantage. Do I get Ho double advantage? Hold on. Yeah. You're looking at the DMG flanking and not my flanking rules. You are right. So what is this? Is the first time? This is the first time it has come up. So pay attention, everybody. You as well, marching. So <laughs> I'm gonna borrow your tokens for a second, right? So. Okay. If you can make a lane through the mob, so if you're if you're on opposing squares, right? And the and all of these scenarios, if you're on the mob's sides, it's a plus one to each of you. Right? 
in this specific scenario where one of you is in front and one of you is behind, you've created a back attack. So Maddox in this situation, as the one in the front, doesn't get plus to anything. But okay. you coming from behind in this maneuver, instead of getting plus one, you get plus two. So I have advantage plus two. Yes. On top of everything else that you do. So, uh, <laughs> and it would be a miracle if you missed. Alright, so, nat 20. Okay, <laughs> what, roll me the, t what was the total anyway for fun? So that's, so that's 22, 26, plus another 2, 28. 28, but it's a nat 20, baby, so you're critting them. Yes. What are you hitting them with? Uh, so, just for shits and giggles, I'm also going to Divine Smite. Okie dokie. So, <laughs> let's, let's do it all in bits. So, give me the Battle Axe first. So, that is 2d8s. Okay. That's 2d8 with your pluses. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, so that's 3 plus 2 plus 2... So that's seven. seven. Yeah, so seven. Okay, so you that's seven with your plusy, sorry? Yes. Right, so even with the crit, you run behind this creature, you slice through him, but you feel there's... That momentum as you're hitting him just gets cut. There's something not happening there fully. So he will resist that down to three. Divine Smite. However... <laughs> Please I... unload your 4d8! <laughs> I only have three. Okay, roll, roll, <laughs> roll two at a time. Bless, bless, bless you, foe. Uh, I mean, roll I, 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 Yeah, I just can, do I whatever. As long as we get the correct total, it's whatever. He's allergic to divine smite. Okay, so that's six, two, one. So nine as it is right now. Nine. And an extra? Four. Six. So 15. For a total of 15, so you're not satisfied with that hit, and you're like, Fuck you, idiot! I am the juggernaut! And you call down the radiant energy to slam into the back of this creature. <clears throat> I lost my voice there for a second. For the full 15 damage. And I will tell you right now, that, that entire operation you just did on, he is... You can tell that heart. Oh. So, hoping it would kill. But okay, uh, end turn. Turn? Yep. Full win from. So go. So, so, go. so goes. So fires of the goblet archer. So goes there. So we go. <laughs> I, I, I need that. I need that to be like your slogan. It's like so goes there because you're a traveling merchant. <laughs> I sure knew that's the, that's the name of the shop. So, <laughs> so seven plus eight, fifteen to hit. That hits. That's clean. All right. With the plus four on all of this, uh, that is ten damage. Three, three, four, ten. Right, big boy, ten damage. It's the first hit you've actually landed on him. He still doesn't see you. Coffee boy. <laughs> I am the darkness. Anything else? <laughs> Uh, hmm. No, don't think there's a point to do a perception check. I'm done. When from? Okay. You can. Ooh, and then we're gonna yeah. hit that one. Okay, I'm gonna just let you know that that's not a ch that's not a qualified charge. Why not? Because you, you didn't charge into you, you, char you didn't charge into him. You charged beside him. If you move at least twenty feet straight towards a target and then hit it with an attack on the same turn, all that movement was towards the target. Yeah, you could do a running clothesline past. No, it. no, he's right. Rules. That is the way I wrote it. So yeah, that's fair. No, you're right. Good shit. Call out your DMs. <laughs> uh, no, that fine. that's the way. I, that's the way I wrote it. So yeah. We're gonna go for a mall. Oh, okay. We're switching it up this time. That is twenty-four to hit. Uh, that hits. Oh, hell yeah, boy. We got hell rid of yeah, the box. Boy. We got rid of the box. Ah, 
five. Plus eight, 13, plus three is 16. And what is the effect on Mo? We knock him five foot, so he is going to stumble down the rocks. Okay, how much damage was that, sorry? 16. Okay, I'm gonna let you know right right now, you charge up beside this creature. I imagine you're not having a good time given he's been taking pot shots at you for a while, and you just side swipe him off, uh, I guess, just down the cliff face, and he is he is gone. Yes. Okay, that's, that's, that's a, what, 20 foot fall as well, so... Yeah, he, he was he was he was dead when the he was dead when the pull happened. <laughs> so Stevie is going to go for a force rend on the one next to us then. Yeah, that's fine. You still have your bonus action. Fire it. That is an eighteen to hit. That hits. So just use, just use his dex and we'll reward that later for him. That is eight force damage. <clears throat> eight force damage. So. How is he doing this from you? What's happening? Is he jumping onto the target? Is he just... Do is he reaching out? What is he doing? He is reaching out. Okay, he reaches out with his little Scottish blades of bastardry. <laughs> and he does eight force damage. The, the goblin is... Can, you've just, This bear that has been chasing him has ran right past him. Just pounded his ally down off the cliff. He is now dead. And then this little squirrel bastard just turns around and goes, Alright, laddie! And just... Dabs him with his little dagger for eight damage. Well, he had no right doing that amount of damage, Jesus Christ. Uh, I take it we're done? Yep, that's it. Maddox, you're up. Uh, fish over here. Uh, this okay. is gonna cancel the invisibility on him. Uh, I want him to cast Shield of Faith on me. Okay. Uh, so he's now concentrating. Uh,. Oh, what? You don't want to put it on me and make my AC 25? You already <laughs> have it on you. Need it. <laughs> uh, you I, already I, have it, so you can't benefit from it again. I know, it's a joke. Uh, spiritual weapon, please. No, he recklessly attacked, didn't he? He did, yeah, so that's his weapon advantage. Uh, oh, that's a. I'll take this one. This is a 7 plus 6. Uh, 13? 13 misses. Yeah, well, uh... It's close. So his AC, AC is probably 14. Yeah. His AC is 14. Uh, I can't Eldritch Blast him because it will be at disadvantage. Uh... It will be at neutral. True. Uh, right. Cat is at 13 HP. I'm at 12. I have significantly less AC than he is. Should I heal him or heal myself? Or should she disengage I... and scuttle around the boxes away from the angry thing? Uh, I think I think you should take the shot. You want me to take the shot? Okay, I'll, I will attempt I to think. take the shot. It's neutral. One. Yeah. We will be brave. I think you should take the shot. Uh, that's an eight plus six. <laughs> That's so that's 14. 14. That's attacker's advantage. It has also that from this camera angle looks like the 20. I was like, there's no fucking way you just crit him. <laughs> no, that's... that looks like the 20. <laughs> no, that's definitely the 8. Attacker's advantage. You're right on the 14 money mark. Kata was right. Uh, 5 plus 4, 9. How would you like to do it? <laughs> Um, Maddox in an absolute panic because he's just like, oh shit, this really fucking hurts. Also, he didn't really seem to enjoy my jokes, so, uh, he's just literally just gonna, like, put his hand, like, right out in front of the goblin's face and say, nothing personal, sorry. <laughs> and then just blast him. It's just good, it's just good business. <laughs> Maddox, Maddox just stood it, just put his hand out and just hit him with a big bag attack. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how much was that, sorry? Uh, that was, um... Eight, nine? That was, uh... Something like that. Nine, I think. I rolled a... No, I... So it's a four. I think I rolled a four, five. So... Okay, yeah, so nine. Nine. Yeah. If not, I'll watch it back and correct. Yeah, it was nine. Thanks He's going. The full, the full force damage just... Boom. <laughs> <laughs> right point blood. You just it, it, it's it's you just turned Vegeta for a moment where your palm of your hand was like basically touching his nose and you just went boom right in his face and he's dead. <laughs> uh it is the goblins it is the goblins turn. A <laughs> single goblin. <laughs> 
And sadly, he, he missed just, the, the killing of his boss. <laughs> he is just done with all of this shit. So he is going to disengage and then he's going to run. So what, the extra. Come on, come on, come on. The extra that he can get away and then he is going to. From there, he's going to try and dash away with his action. <laughs> You moved the dead uh, one. Dang, the dead guy went around away too. When yeah. they stack up, it comes annoying. Uh, oh, my <laughs> brother, run with me! Jogger, no, it's your turn. Okay, so at, at any point, can I can I see him? I do have dark vision and everything. Like, <clears throat> Do I know where he is? Uh, Let's see. What's your dark vision? Uh, it's, 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 just, it's just standard dark vision. Uh, yeah, yeah. He he's he's just flay he's he's just screaming out trying to run away from this bear and this invisible foe that keeps killing like keeps like taking pot shots. He is he, like <laughs> if you can if you can't see him, you can hear him. Okay. Uh I'll toll the dead from where I am right now. Okay, that's fair. Um Nine. Yep, yeah, uh okay. So that's uh so it's, that's gonna be uh D twelve damage. Uh-huh. Eleven. Good as the last mob, as the last mob of the fight, how do you want to do it? So what I'm thinking is, so we keep having this thing like you're they they hear the bell, it's just in the in in like he, hearing and like oh, it's like oh what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? And then all of a sudden he's just bleeding out of his ears and just falls over. I love that. I love that. In my head, I was like. You you manage to actually conjure that much necrotic energy that a dark shadowy like shape of an actual bell forms and just crashes down on top of it. I mean, if that's what you want. <laughs> but, uh, dude, you, it's your it's your shit, bro. But like, it's funny as fuck. Is it We're told done. the dead or bury the dead? <laughs> He's the juggernaut. <laughs> and and with that, uh. And with, and with that, we're done. The combat is over. Hell yeah, time to loot! Congratulations. Loot, loot, loot. Give, me, give me a moment so I can free you all! I've never had my I, my life flash before my eyes like that before. Is that a sign that you're dying? I normally ask Falsus this, but he's not here. Oh! Sit still! Sorry. Thank you. You should all be free. Sorry, but like you moving broke the entire yeah. maneuver. <laughs> Calm down, boy. Uh, You'll right. come close to death plenty of times. That's terrifying. What do you mean by I'm, that? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just gonna move this dead body back here. <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> pet, okay. Pet, pet. Uh, <laughs> it's come to our attention that uh, Winthrop has walked away from the table for a couple of minutes. Um, I don't know if you want to just take a quick two minute break or if you want to just finish up the phone. Uh, we can take a little break, it's fine. Yeah, uh, we, we'll round this up in the next like 10 minutes. Okay. Yes, need to, need to look through chests, see what we see, what goodies yes. we can get. So, are we gonna, are we gonna yeah. tell Kitty about this? Hell no! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, where is it up We hide this? these cuts. <laughs> Yeah. Calm down, boy two. You're fine. <gasps> Did you just call me boy two? Yeah, you're boy two. The fish. Fair. Fair. I can't really argue with that. Fair. <laughs> hey, first combat that uh, Eo wasn't used as a. As a, as a bait. Bait. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't used as bait. Well, to be he, fair, he wasn't he used is... as bait in the second one with the uh, blades and everything. No. No, you there definitely, you definitely baited. <clears throat> or, oh, oh, with that, with that with, one, With maybe. the three fairies yeah. and the blades, he, he was all yeah. the entire time, and he didn't do it very much, that. that. That's true, we did ruin them. <laughs> they nearly ruined it's me. Like, it's like, oh, perception check, not 20. Well. No, what was it? The the very first one when the uh, twig blights or whatever came up, I I was the one who who alerted everyone to that. That that was yeah. That was yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. yeah. yeah well, right. 
Um, we'll just give her another wee minute. Okay, I think I should be able to heal up most of these before Faultus realizes, but uh, okay. he looks to the blood in his clothes and goes, Maybe I can convince him this isn't mine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yep. Win Winthro Winthrop is back. Yes. Damage to the <coughs> oh, chest, okay. Winthrop. Right. Uh, you'd have free movement. What would you like to do? Go Dosis, he's, gonna, he's, he's gonna go through that chest. I'm gonna I'm gonna look in this one. We we okay. water boating. Uh, okay, okay. One thing at a time. Uh, four. Yes. Okay, okay. Just, just let me know what you're doing. But I just want to point out. I, I am, in, okay, I am okay. in this chest. I am you have no, this chest. you have no problem getting into this chest, and you find a couple of, you find a couple of short bows and a few arrows. Hmm. I'd be able to sell them. No, the, the, town, town could always need more bows. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just wondering yeah. how heavy is a short bow. Uh, it's not that heavy. Uh, short... well, it they are. I've got one in my hand. Give me a second. <laughs> They're they short. Pounds. They're they're short bows designed for goblins. Two pounds. So they're like they're like extra short. Uh, a normal short, short bow pound. is two pounds. Yeah. So we're gonna say a pound. It's more. It's it's more that I'll save you the trouble and say that nobody's gonna buy a bow made for a goblin. <laughs> right. I'll just replenish my arrows then of the ones that went. Okay. Into the uh, roll a d six. Rolling a d six. One. <laughs> uh, you you find you find two arrows, <laughs> two salvage salvageable arrows, right? Yeah. All uh, right. It's nothing else of value to be found here. There you go. Cat up. <laughs> yep, I'm gonna look through mine. Uh, where are you? He's probably looking at this. Okay. One. Okay. Uh, very quickly. Um. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get rid of all the goddamn bodies off of this because uh, it's hard to find you sometimes. Uh, but I can let you know that like there was there was nothing on them. I'll save you. No, oh, I was gonna do a perception check. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's an investigation as well. To be fair. Bonk. Splash splash splash. The spur we're spur to having a bath. He's just floating on the water. <laughs> yeah, I mean uh -huh. it's if they if they have like valuables, it's hard to really like perceive that someone has valuables hidden on them. Hmm. Look for shiny. Oh, good, okay. Uh, sorry about that. Um, okay, Catafresha. Where are you? I two tents. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, oh, you... there's actually two chests here. Uh-huh, okay. so are you going for the wooden one first? Yeah. Okay, uh, you find some, you find some mentally miscellaneous stuff. There's like a couple of little short swords, like the like the little goblin fighters were wielding. Um, give me an investigation roll. Okay, I do not have a bonus to investigation. Okay. Okay. Twelve. Twelve. Uh, in one of the bottom corners, you find a small coin purse with uh, fifty silver. Uh, but that's that's about it. Okay, and then Let's I do. will move. Okay. I will move over to the other one. I'm going to let Maddie take one first. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Point to which one you want. Uh, this one first. <clears throat> this one first. Uh, okay, okay. Um, as you get closer to that chest, the um, the ship in a bottle around your neck starts to have like a slight tug towards it and it's doing like a soft shining effect. Uh, you know this to be when Maria is excited about something. Oh no, there's rocks in here, isn't there? <laughs> uh, Maddie so, will open the chest. <laughs> okay, give me an investigation with advantage. With advantage. Uh, let me check my plus. I don't think I have any pluses. Uh, oh, I have a proficiency, uh, plus two, so that will be 18. An 18? Okie dokie. Uh, if you hop into Arcadia for a second, I'm going to link you exactly what you find and has your patron lady so excited. <laughs> you find a blue quartz. Oh. 
Well, Maddy know, knows exactly what he's going to do with this. Uh, he's going to hold it in his hand and he goes, Uh, Maria, I've got a present for you. you the, the, the ship in a bottle is now, like, it's generating enough bounce that it's now kind of hopping up and down, like, just <laughs> against you. Like, there is a rock, and it is not one in our collection. I consider so. this an apology for dragging you out during all that nonsense with the fae. <laughs> <laughs> she's just it's just it's just excited she's not coming out right now she's a little busy but she's very excited uh, at the prospect of getting a, of getting something maddox has got a pocket so you can give it to her proper later okie dokie uh let's see let's give <clears throat> uh who would like to go next i don't think uh, let's get wind drops had yeah let's yet. give yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's give you a win from. Let's give you. Okay. I went back to the chest that I ran by since I was probably the only one that saw it. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, you pop it open. Give as me a, an... as a bear, you were opening it. <laughs> That's fine. I debated give asking me... if I could smash it, but that'd probably break stuff. <laughs> give me an investigation roll. Ma Mally. Let me look. What do you want, Kitty? Okay. 14 on a 14 you find um there's so there's again there's the general miscellaneous stuff there's a couple more short bows there's some arrows in here um i don't know if you want to pick them up for uh for anyway while you're in here uh but you also find a small pouch and this one has 82 silver in it okay and I'll also uh, pick up the arrows, or sal see what's salvageable of the arrows. Roll me a d6. Five? Five? Uh, there are six arrows. Yep. Okay, okay. How much silver was it again? So, uh, 82. Okay, thank you. Okay. And let's go back. Uh, Maddox, we'll do your one first. I know that the order's whacked, but we'll do you, we'll do you first if you want. All right. Open it, the little small one. Oh, okay. Uh, you find an odd arrangement of weaponry sized for a goblin. Outside of that, there's nothing else. You use any of this, Eon? I think I'll poke an eye out or poke my bubble, and then Mama's gonna get really mad. That's a very fair point, actually. I'm gonna close this, and I'm keeping you away from them. <laughs> and last but not least, uh, Catafracious. Yep, gonna open this reinforced one. Uh, give me the investigation again. Six. Six. It's... It, you open this one up and it's filled with just a bunch of, like, random objects. There's, like, there's like you know, there's, like, there's like cups, there's, like, plates. There's a bit of nonsense in it. Um, but your magical senses are tingling to something nearby. Um, I don't Cast know if detect you magic. Uh, you have the spell slot for it, yeah? Yeah, I, I have one spell slot left. Banger, okay. You cast Detect Magic. Right down in one of the bottom corners of the chest, you find, like, a little extra compartment. Mm -hmm. And within that, you pull out... And I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and describe this as best as I can. It's like, it's a, co it's a corked vial. Um, but the inside of it is radiating, is radiating like a blue energy, and it's making like it's making like zappy noises. A bit of there's a bit of a crackle come from inside of it, and there's like little sharp like blue tinges that keep kind of hitting off of the side of the glass. Can I make an Arcana check to see if I would even if I could possibly know what this would be? You can, yes. Five. So, you, the the activity within the bottle is just giving you a little bit too much bother. Um, so I, I just know it like there is a lightning in a bottle. Yes, uh, I but have you identified. Don't Bring well, it over. As I was about to say, I mean, you can do our Arcana and then identify, but all right, 
Uh, but before before we do that, I would also like to just like check in the tents real quick, see if there is anything, or you can just tell me there's nothing in the tents. There, like, there's there's some bed rules in terms. Okay, scorched earth time. Pick up some wood debris. Set light to everything. Fair enough. That if, no, no, no. If that's your method, Ray, you you wanted to chase them out. Ah, uh, okay. As someone who has set fire to something in the past, this is not gonna end well. Okay. I feel like Are you... be fine. Just don't light fires where you're going to be walking. Am Take I taking you in your... you? Are you going to be identifying this item or? Uh, I if Kata presents uh, mentions it, then yes. I, let's no. let's let's get out of here first, like as, as you know, burning. Okay. Um, do you want me to take you back to town first? Yeah, and then. Then I'm I can gonna, do my my like, ritual. I, yes, and, and I'm gonna I'm gonna say like art. Okay, and I'm, I'm just be like everyone, you know, pull out pull out what you got, pull out what you found. Okay, uh, one moment, I'm gonna pull you all. Right, let me know when everyone's back. I'm back. back. Okay, you're all back. Uh, I don't have I don't have different times of day for this one. Yeah, so yeah, let's just nice. you're you're getting back. You, you left the camp late, so you're getting back late. <laughs> uh, Maddox uh, on t takes like the the cloth off, off his head, and he just I can't do speech for because the cat's here, and he'll just go. Okay, I'm gonna need to take the longest bath in the morning to get rid of all this moon madness. What the hell? Okay. Right. It was it was a blue moon night. Oh goody. Or it is a blue moon night. <laughs> pull out pull out what you got. Uh Maddox kind of will kinda of blink, it will kinda of like hold out the blue stone and you'll go, I found this. I was planning on giving it to Maria to keep her happy, but uh this this is all I got. Uh, Thor here. Thor, Thor just slowly <laughs> puts one arrow on top of the table and just stares at it. <laughs> Maddie will look over and say, "Do you want some of mine? I don't use it really." So, oh, God damn it! <laughs> Any arrows would be appreciated. <laughs> How many do you need? All of them. All right, uh, I'll I'll put I'll put my my bag of fifty silver. So dump that out. And then we'll we'll divide that evenly. Yeah. Sure. So. Uh, Maddie will turn around and say, "Well, uh, if I can keep the stone, I don't mind skip not taking any silver. I don't really understand." You point to the coins like I'm not used to this, so uh, and I don't mind I'll, skipping I'll out. I'll step in for a second here. As much as you are a team, um, it's good for you as, as a team to decide how you want to distribute loot because obviously there's actually going to be the quest reward as well it's also a time for you to bargain with each other if you one of you well i guess this is very relevant in this situation wants to try and keep something that might be a little bit more valuable than everything else yeah. um if i might make the suggestion of if you perhaps help cataphrasius with his object the team might let you keep yours. Yeah. But that is, I'm just making a suggestion. You as, as a group need to come to that. And if push comes to shove, it will be a majority vote. If there's ever, and if there's ever, um, if there's ever an even spread of votes, that's when I will step in officially. Look at it. Don't do that's if it days. gets that far. <laughs> All right. No, we're not. So, so you're the merchant. Mm -hmm. Inspect that. Inspect that gem. How much do you think it's worth? I have investigation of zero. So would my roles be able to give us a good value? Or your your history as a merchant, you know, you know that a blue quartz is worth about ten. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Ten gold pieces. Mm, maybe more if we can find someone who's really desperate for them. Hmm. Favorite color. All right, all right, boy too. I'll let you keep that if you give up one, give up the health pot. Uh, uh yeah, I'm fine by that. I've I still got two on me, so I don't need any. All right, I'm fine with that. Get get a health pot for the blue gym. I'm fine with that. Just just you? Or are you talking about getting one of the health pots? Oh no, you. Uh, never mind. Those. So, are you taking one of the reward health potions or is 
what am I getting here? Or are you physically trading that quartz for one of Maddox's actual I, health pots? I, 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 will, I will say she... I, I'm so happy to I, trade what? one of mine, if you want it. Because chances are I'm I, not going to use them. I say either that or giving up the reward health pot. It, it's, it's fine. I, yeah. Either way. Yeah. There's four health pots, so there's one each. So okay. yeah, so what we'll say you you give up your health your health potion reward. It's we'll we'll make the assumption that you've came back and you've claimed your reward. So on the table with you is the four hundred gold and the four health potions. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. All right, and then I shall pull out my my bottle. Um, Anyone know what this is? As far as I can tell, it's just lightning in a bottle. Maddox will blink at it and you'll go. I do know the identify spell that might help. Go for it. Go for it, boy, too. It's Maddox, but okay. Um, he will uh, take the, the bottle in his hands, he'll open up his uh, Book of Shadows, and he'll turn it over to the Identify spell, which is just, just, just like um, a dazzling array of like different kind of glyphs all over the place. Mm -hmm. And he'll kind of like focus on the on the arcane weaves, and it takes a minute as a ritual, I guess. I mean... Uh... I mean, yeah. You, I think you just have the spell slot anyway if you wanted. Yeah, but it's up yeah, to you. I've got, spell, I've got the spell slot, but I'm, I'm like, he doesn't <laughs> get to ritual cast oh, okay. very often. <laughs> so on that on that page where the where you harbor that, right? Mm -hmm. One half of the page has the actual arcana for the spell, mm -hmm. and the bottom half of the page is blank. As you're casting the spell, you feel you feel Maria's energy coming from the ship in a bottle. Uh huh as text starts to write out on the page. Alrighty. So, I'm going to bring you to uh, Arcadia. And would you, ra would, you rather me, would you rather me describe it and then print it, or would you rather me just type, or just copy and paste it in and you can read it yourselves? Uh, paste it in. Better, Id better idea. I'll paste it in, you read it out, since it's your spell. Okay. Oh, good okay. Um, Maddox will kind of go into a bit of a trance as, as, as the, he kind of reads the text and you'll go, Bottled Lightning. As an action, you can open the bottle and unleash a, a, a stroke of lightning formed in a line 30 feet long and 5 feet wide. If the bottle was thrown or broken, the lightning instead jumps to the nearest three creatures within 15 feet. Each creature must make a dexterity save and throw, DC 14. A creature takes 3d6 lightning damage on a failed save or half as much on a, on a successful one. Mm. That's very good. You, you ha congratulations, you have a lightning grenade. Yes. <laughs> so this is this is one of those this is one of those items that you can keep like you can decide who is going to hold it if you plan to merchant it. If it's one of those that at the start of each adventuring day you decide who's gonna keep a thing because there's like a there's like a get up in somebody's face option and a throw it from range option. So, yeah. so if that's something that you just want to put in the universal kind of pot for the group, or if you want to keep it between the four of you, or if you want to sell it off, or if you want to just give it to somebody, whether that's one of you here just now, or if you use so basically you can vote if you just want somebody put to permanently have it whether it's one of you four at the table just now, or you give it to somebody that isn't here and just update them on that, you know, at the end of the session. Yeah. Uh, Maddie passes it back over to Kata, and you'll say, probably best I don't have that. You've seen my throwing arm. <laughs> so would uncorking it be a bonus action or an action? Uh, action. Action. As an action, you can open the bottle. Hmm. It's basic. Is this wood chain lightning essentially? Uh, mm -hmm. No, uh, it's, if you break it, it is. You were you were correct the first time. So you can, as an action, open it up, and it's like a miniature lightning bolt. Mm -hmm. It's got less. It's got less range and does less damage. But if you do that as the if you do the action of opening it while it's in your hand, you're essentially throwing the. You're essentially striking the lightning bolt out uh -huh. in a thirty foot line, and it hits everything in that line. Uh huh. Alternatively, you can throw it, mm -hmm. and where it lands, the three closest creatures will all get hit. Yeah, yeah. 
So, like, you actually had it bang on. It's it's essentially a lightning grenade if you use that. Mm -hmm. Feels like something for Malachite. Definitely Personal. someone on the front line, honestly. Maybe midline. You can just keep it in your bags just now. Yeah, but... so I'll I'll hold on to it and I'll and I'll talk to the boy later about it. Sounds good. Because Falpus isn't even though he is a frontline character, he isn't in the front line. So his his sh his shadow can't like use items or whatever, right? Or like items that are in his inventory. Can the shadow? Well, hold unless items? he gave them it. I would. He gave them I mean, it? I would need to double check that, but. If it can't do that, I could be persuaded in a situation by situation basis. Mm -hmm. Like, I think it'd be fu like, I'm just as an example, I think it'd be hilarious that he spawns the shadow next to him, gives it to him, and then the shadow just runs into three mobs and just slams it on the ground. Like, that'd be <laughs> hilarious. That Dispel shit, I'd be, so I'd be totally down for that shit. Dispels itself so it doesn't get caught and it just drops and it's like, oh, Fuck obviously, you. this is what I mean about sit like on a situation by situation basis, it's like, oh, but wouldn't it be one of the targets? I'm like, bro, that's creative as fuck. Like, I would just say it hits the other three mobs and your shadow gets consumed in the process. Like, that's funny. <laughs> and that, and this is what I mean. It's like, if you're being, if you're being creative or if it's genuinely funny, then like, I'm down to bend the rules a little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I honestly don't know off the top of my head if the shadow can do that. Like, the shadow doesn't have its own inventory. It's Jake still, uh, Falfus has his inventory. So I genuinely don't know what the interaction is there, or if it even can. Because the the shadow in itself isn't a creature, it's an object, but it is an object with that can do shit mm -hmm. otherwise. So What what is the actual be. class called? Echo Knight. Echo Knight, yeah. Fight, fighter Echo Knight. It's uh it came in the um one of the um critical roles. Wild ones. Mount. Yeah. Which is how you know it's busted. <laughs> Because that's where the chronology wizard came from as well. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to let you have a couple of minutes if you just want to finish up any RP or anything, and then we'll move on. Uh, Maddox is going to burn all of his healing lights to hide the wind so Falter doesn't have a freak out when he sneaks back into his room to sleep. Fair enough. <laughs> Anybody, anything else? I'm Even good. share of gold and silver all around, please. Okay, yeah. somebody, somebody do the math on that and split it. And then add it to... Oh, actually, what? Well, well, so, is, there, is there an even? Is there an even? Yeah, so it's 400, 400 gold split four ways. So that's... So that's, okay, 100, so, that's 100 okay. gold each. I'll, and then I'll do this. One, 100. 132 divided by 4. 30, 33. 33 so silver. 100 gold, 33 silver... Four and one from a health potion and Catafresh's two health potions. Is that right? Uh, sounds about right, yep. Okay, mm -hmm. on top of that, full gained some arrows. I've lost the number already. Two. Maddox <laughs> no, gained... No, 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 it's eight. Seven. Oh, wait, yeah. Yeah, because mm -hmm. went from good one. Maddox, you have the blue quartz, mm -hmm. and Catafresh currently has the bottled lightning in his possession. Yeah. Uh, how much gold and silver? Sorry, I missed that number. 100 gold, 33 silver. 100 gold, 33. On an even split. Yeah, it actually, 133 silver split, even, or 100 and whatever, 32 split into 33 evenly. Yep. So I oh, realized I that it changed back powers. to this. <laughs> should have changed back to this. Oh, right, I should give this to Maria, and that should hopefully make her happy. <laughs> she's, she's been a bit off the past couple of days. I'm sure you'll have perfect opportunity to give it to her later. Oh god. I'm not looking forward to that, Conroe. Do I get advantage for that one? Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yay! Yes. So, um, you know what? You know what? Just because it's, it's in, just because it's relevant now, I will have you make that roll now. Oh god, here we go. Okay. And then, Please. and then you can just mark, and then you can just mark somewhere. Uh, What's my plus? That's uh, because they're not great. <laughs> All right, and uh, long rest. Uh, long uh, rest. Yes, yes, uh, yes uh, absolutely. Comp eleven. Uh, eleven on an advantage. Yes, the other one was a two. 
well, four with everything added up, but yeah. You feel fresh and moisturized. Lovely. <laughs> right. Um, thanks, everybody. Had a good time. I'm going to keep this in the three hour mark. So, okay, thank you. Um, get the fuck out of here. Shoo. <laughs> we're done. Right. We are out. Save, save whatever you need to save. Log out. We're done. All good right. night. <laughs>